Okay. There we go. Good evening, everybody. Big Fat Bastards, Big Fat Bastard at Kings and Queens. Lovely to have you all with me, as always, on the worst Magic the Gathering stream. Um, since I intend to do a couple of packs, might as well start at the daily deals in the store. You got 17 more hours to get yourself a, a, a nice Nissa sleeve that was just taken out of the bundle section. Um, yesterday was a Planeswalker-themed store. Today is one, too, so... Perhaps they're going to cycle through a bunch of uh, Planeswalkers. Yesterday's deals were also 20% off. Today is 50 and it's a little better here. Some uh, nice styles, stained glass there. Um, if you're interested, yeah. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the packs really fast. Um, let's see. What exactly did I want? Brothers War, not Alchemy. Okay. Wait, hang on. I'm going to make absolutely sure I'm not screwing it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spending a lot. I might as well not screw things up like I sometimes do. Okay, so that one, yeah, we got the right thing. Just 20 of them because um, I still need to hold 3,000 gold at all times. So just in case those um, those dragon sleeves come out and it's like 3,000 gold, hopefully 3,600 at maximum. Go grab those things. Okay, was that 20? I think that um, might not have been. Um, I don't know how to freaking read. Let me see. Um, what's going on here? Oh, yep, I think that was. Okay, cool. So um, let's go here. Text box was in the way there. Um, why don't we start with the other stuff first? Yeah, let's start at the back and then work our way forward. Okay, so these um these ones that are just one apiece from this set are just from the battle pass. I like almost never collected as we can see I like most of my commons are never before uh, collected. Another Katilda, that's actually pretty cool. Alright, yeah, I mean I have one, but it's it's actually a pretty cool card. Alright. Uh what what's that? Uh is that like an alchemy version or something? Oh, okay. That uh, is uh, is under my freaking text box, so we're not going to try to read that. Can't see through it, so. Yep, Dominary United. Really like that set. A rare wild card. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We love rare wild cards. All right. Let's go here. Let's click open 10. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll do that the next time. All right, um, that is... Oh, that's a very good card. Okay, too long, didn't read. LOL. There you go. Take a look at these really fast. Wow, Jix, beautiful for freaking a uh, commander to put in black uh, commander decks. Wow. Yep, choose that one. I see that a lot. Like, Urza likes to run that. Blue, white Urza. Either of them, I guess. Um, t Tyrant of Care Ridges. Honestly, not a terrible card. The fact that it has a um, enter the battlefield, deals four damage to any target. Pretty cool. Um, Siege Veteran. Oh, okay. Um, is there anything else interesting here? I guess I'll just mouse over all of them. Um, just in case, you know. There's other people besides me who might watch this. Goblin Charbelcher, cool. I think that's an old card. Pretty sure people have been comboing off with Goblin Charbelcher for like over a decade at least. Okay, Defense Grid is really cool. Um, I was hoping for one of those. Or, oh, wait, no, sorry. I was hoping for... You know what? That's actually not bad because it's nice against control. I was hoping for... What's the one called that whenever creatures attack you, like your opponent has to pay a pretty steep price? I think it's like two or three colorless for each one. Um, nevertheless, um, okay. Um, Portal to Phyrexia, we know that one. Yep, that again, okay. Dull Brushland, fine. Um, that, um, too long didn't read. Um, cool, yeah, I remember that, because I had it in the, uh, pre-release, and Gwenna's a great, ah, oh, god, I like Gwenna so much. Alright, cool. And now I have, uh, two golden packs. Why don't we, uh, open one at a time instead of all? Portal to Phyrexia, yeah, honestly, that was my second just before, this is my third. <laughs> That's a lot of Portal to New Phyrexias. Fire, um, this, Return All Artifacts. Oh, cool, I was just watching somebody play a game with that. Okay. 
So that has an alchemy version. Okay. Hang on. What's the difference? Oh, a 4 4 versus a 3 3. Okay. Um, over the top. Um, okay. And what's this? Sanctuary Warden. Cool. It, it creates tokens. I like token decks. Okay. And um, shout out to Big Fat MTG's uh, Jetmir Tokens Historic Brawl. Cool stuff. Okay. Another Thalia, and a fourth Hollowed Haunting. Wow. Okay, cool. Maybe a Cultivator Colossus if it's not from... Uh... Uh, a lot of that's under my text box. I see Ormondal, though. I know I've lost to Ormondal. Damn, cool card. All right. Um, this draw card is equal to the mana value of target artifact or creature you control, and then an opponent gains control of that permanent cool. Okay, that card, the blue soldier, or blue and white soldiers, excuse me, loves that. Thalia, cool. Okay, fair enough. So what do we got? We got four rares, two mythics. That two mythics is definitely nice. Okay, and then we're close to the vault, too. Great, that'll be an additional one um, mythic and two rears. Okay, so... Now... I want to go see... how much progress I can make towards putting together a deck here. Um, I think I'll probably use most of those rare wild cards. I don't know if I want to use any of the mythics. So I have to go down, right? It's not completed. Um... Where are you? I could probably just search the name. Okay, fine. It's right here. Okay. I have four rares. How are we going to do this? I got to prioritize. Okay, cool. So I got to get my text box uh, out of the way here. All right. So, we're looking at here, Vorinclex Commander. Well, I mean, visibly, <laughs> yes. But um, nearly completed. We've got a couple of uncommons up here, so those are really no issue. I'm looking at uh, 103 cards there, so I can take out about, like, three rears that uh, might be a little bit too much right now. Like, I don't know if I can put this one in right now. Let's see. We've got Yorvo, I think I want. This Hydra, I think I want. Champion of Lambhold, I definitely want. And then maybe between Scavenging Ooze and the Wildborn Preserver, maybe I could take out the Scavenging Ooze to have... I mean, this is a great card, but maybe I can take out the Scavenging Ooze to have more, like, graveyard-hating tech going on in the deck overall. So let maybe minus this one for right now. Um, yeah, we have Voracious, right? Okay, yeah, maybe minus this. Um, okay, and then minus one more card throughout this whole entire thing. Um, I don't know if I need Jade Light Ranger in this. Um, and uh, there was a freaking card earlier that I I was going to put in that I have. I can't remember it right now. Um, but nevertheless, okay. Mm, but maybe I can just not use this Vivian Reed right now. And I, I just don't know if I'm if I'm for sure about it right now. So maybe I can go ahead and um, put that card back in there. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's search it up. Um, thank you for sticking with me. I just want to be a uh, kind of a uh, kind of sure about where I invest these wild cards. Um, I have some. Uh, some, what do you call it, like, kind of like land from the graveyard, like Azusa, um, Titania list that I'm entertaining, because um, the cards that I need to buy for them, the rares and mythics that I'm, I need to buy from them, can be used in like multiple decks. Things like Crucible of Worlds, you know, you can play lands from your graveyard and other things that have you can play lands from your graveyard tech on them. I'm just running my mouth because the uh, screen right here, so you can see I'm moving my cursor. It probably does it for a lot of people, apparently, right? It just sits there and takes for freaking ever for the first time that you, like, search amongst the cards you own or whatever. God, billion dollar company, by the way. Record profits, by the way. 
<sighs> yeah, but that that Crucible of Worlds can be used in a what's it called? Um Soul of Wind Grace. Um I'm looking at the Alvenwald Hydra, I think it's called. It's another like you can play additional lands each turn. Cards that like have power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. Okay, Jesus, like, is is this? Wow, okay. Is, is, is it crashed at this point? Okay, God. Jesus, man. That, that's... Okay, so I guess I'll put that in to have 100. Um, I should be able to craft all on this. I, I do have things like... um. The Kami of the West Tree. That should be in this one. Oh, Kodama. Okay, that's what it's called. Um, right. Um, let me see. And the Champion of Lamholt was a three drop, right? And that's in here too. Yorvo. I like Yorvo a lot. That can go into like Halan and Elena. This. That can go into um, Kodama of the West Tree as a, a commander itself. I'd like to do that. All right. I think we're good here. Um, three uncommon. Yeah, four rares. Yep. Okay, so why don't I just X out of this so that when I um, return to it and then bring up the um, deck list in full screen mode, like it, it doesn't sort it like that. All right, there you go. So, just really quickly, because I don't have too much to say. You know, I, I did the packs and stuff. I'd like to get right into the uh, action here. But Vorinclex doubles the counters that we put on stuff. Halves the counters that our opponents put on stuff rounded down pretty good with planes walkers and by pretty good i mean very good um i mean this is good because it distributes the plus one plus one counter and it also aids in like it's not a fight but target creature you control deals damage so um that one's really good although the ult doesn't do much because we don't have a sideboard in this format but let me see um we also have nissa here who if we bring her in with vorinclex out she gets you know 10 loyalty counters we can minus eight her right away get a load of lands onto the field vivian reed we can do the same thing the same math um get an emblem with creatures we control get plus two vigilance trample indestructible that's Pretty wild there. Um, do I have any other planeswalkers in here? I think that was just about it. Um, in the upper end here, I really like this card. Um, obviously, putting two plus one plus one counters on another target creature can double to four. That's pretty nut nuts because um, if our commander enters the battlefield and receives those two plus one plus one counters, he's swinging as a 10-10 trampling with only those. Um, I don't know. This is this is uncommon. Okay, I I just think it's kind of cute. It might not be the best in the deck because it's very expensive. But nevertheless, I think that with our commander out, it could be a kill card, and so maybe it'll warrant um, its place in the deck until I upgrade it with some of those other rares that we saw I took out, like the Hungering Hydra. Right, whenever it's dealt damage, you put that many plus one plus one counters on it. Um, Cage Sun for the because I'm a fan of the mana dumpling. You know this thing because it puts silly amount of plus one plus one counters on stuff. Um, mana tripling in this case, uh, more mana doubling. Right, Great Henge card advantage, um, and Nissa of course is back to uh, the mana too. Um, I I think we know Yorvo. I just uh, bought that right, so we'll be seeing that in more things. Gets a lot of counters. Champion of Lamb hold doesn't just get a lot of counters but it makes it so that uh stuff can't block and just really quickly i'm also going to be putting together um somebody mentioned that narith the commander that like whenever a creature you control fights or becomes blocked you draw a card so this will go in there too because when it enters the battlefield it um it fights target creature or um it, you know it doubles the number of plus one plus one counters which would mean quadruple them if foreign is on the field right yeah so with that said let's get right into this thank you all for joining me if you're here <sighs> Let's do this. I've been uh I've been excited to bring you this guy, even if it's in a, a slightly truncated form. It's still loaded with a bunch of uh cool cards up in here, you know. And I mean, we we see what we just bought. Pretty cool stuff. Um, got two mythics to delegate to at some point. I I'm, I might hold on to those for a little while though. They might go into that Vivian. I don't know. I may hold them for a little while. We'll see. All right, that historic brawl. Right, the right deck. Okay, cool. Let me get my text box up. If I missed anyone's messages, I'm sorry. Okay, no messages. Sad trombone. All right. There we go. Let's go. Got Vorinclex here. He's got haste. He's got trample. 
He's got Planeswalker friends to, to maybe ult. That would be cool. We've got Mana Doubler so that we can cast Vorinclex and then cast a Planeswalker on the same turn. Um, hmm. I don't really have a um anything to do until this. I don't have a ramp to get into that before turn four, so that kind of stinks. Aristotle, hell yeah, man, how you doing? Welcome back, as always. Nice to have you, dude. Um, damn it, I think I will keep this freaking fine. Um, I think we get rid of Silverback Elder here. Um, yeah, I think it's Silverback Elder, unfortunately. Um, so yep, Lair of the Hydra. Yeah, dude, I've been excited. If the hell yeah... Oh, okay, yes, Vorinclex. Okay, I just saw it. Hell yeah, dude. I I mean, come on. It's 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 freaking Vorinclex, dude. Yeah, Praetors with the heart. Bam, let's go, baby. All right. Um, So the land would be really nice or else we're pretty much screwed. But I did take uh, two mulligans before this hand. Yes, fine. Maybe I should have taken another one. But uh, nevertheless, here we are, okay? All right, looks like uh, Ranger class might eat it. That, that's a good thing for them to do because at a uh, level two, whenever you attack, put a plus one plus one counter on target on target attacking creature. Yep, double to two, not bad. So yeah, um, yeah, thank goodness there, right? Uh, yeah, we're definitely going Gwenna there, and uh, we will attack because I don't think they're gonna block that. They'd be psychotic too, especially you know in angels. They have no problem gaining life. Maybe not as much here in historic brawl. Yep, up against Angels. Good luck to us, because Giada gets pretty nutty pretty quick. If we draw a Forest, we're going to be looking alright, because we can uh, get Vorinclex onto the field. Okay. Looks like they got that. Nice. Um, wow, we got the Forest. You love to see it. Alright, um, we're just going to attack with, uh, I guess, both of these, right? Um... Yeah, just both of those. Vorinclex here to stifle Giada's count. Oh, shoot. I didn't even think of that stupid pea brain here. Yep, absolutely. Let, let me bring that up. Honestly, kind of for you guys. Kind of for uh, <laughs> kind of for me. Yep. Additional plus one, plus one counters. Rounded down. Nice. So if they deal with Vorinclex, yes, that is annoying. But we have like Selvala and uh, the, the ooze here. All right, Champion to Lamholt is pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can drop Champion and then drop Selvala to get the uh, counter on this. Um, I think that's good, right? Yes, I kind of like it. Uh, that would be uh, no attacks. Yeah, a, a little... A little slow, I'm, fe I'm feeling, but at least we got two things onto the field there. Gwenna staying alive is quite nice. I wonder if they have any more, uh, like, interaction, exiling especially, in the three cards in their hand. Alright, that is not an angel. Which is, you know, significant because it ain't going to get loaded up with counters from freaking Giada. Alright, that's pretty darn good. Um, if we play... Reach, uh, something that could increase this. That would be good. Um, then we could bring down... Uh, we could tap Selvala for more. I like that. Let's do that. And untap. Yep, we will draw a card, as a matter of fact. We will play this, too. Put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature we control. Vorinclex, so they can't get the double block with their two, three powers. And we will swing. As a matter of fact, I don't think that they can block because they can't block with creatures with less power than this thing. Or choose attackers. Um, oh, shoot. I, I can only do one. All right. I, ca I can't. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Um, what is that? Is that this? Creatures can't attack you unless I pay one for each of those creatures. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, so basically, it bought them a turn. They have, what, eight power on the field. Yeah, a bit of a stupid idiot there. I didn't realize that that did that. Even though I, you know, moused over it. That doesn't mean I freaking read it. Um, okay, so... 
Basically, they got that big angel token, but they can't block with it. They don't have lethal damage, that's it. We're just not casting anything. They have one card in hand. It better be real good. They're, they're keeping that back like they're going to block with it. Yeah, you're not blocking with that. So he's basically like got to get double strike or something here, because that's it. Alright. There you go. A bit a bit of a hiccup with this thing. Nevertheless, that is pretty cool. Can't attack them unless we pay one for each one. Yeah, fortunately we got pretty lucky with those um mana top decks. Happy to uh happy to bring that uh home there. Let's go. Damn, that champion of Lampolt is like actually quite a good um investment of the rare wild card. I mean, they couldn't even block with that angel token. Creatures with power less than that thing can't block. Or, or are our opponent's creatures, is it? I mean, I just bought the freaking card, okay? But, like, yeah, that's pretty nuts. Damage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, we did, we did some. I know that you're trying to go for the, like, oh, look, I made a cool word, but that's co Cosmo Sense, like, oh, cos Cosmo Scene. I know you're going for Cosmosense or Cosmosense, Cosmosense. It, it's stupid. Um, okay. Because I said so. That's why. Um, I think we can probably go with this. We do go first. That is rather nice. Um, let's take a look here. Um, yes, sir. Hello. How are you doing? Um, is that Ranger Class into this? What do we do there? Um, let's let's see. Ranger class into what? Is it into maybe this? Maybe it's into branching evolution, and then next turn we can get this down. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. No attacks. So let me bring this up. I love the art. Love the scene there. Counters would be if counters would be put on our creatures, twice that many counters. Or plus one whatever. It's it's behind my freaking text box, okay? So I, I can't read it. I have to bring it up there. Alright. We got a fourth mana. It's a beautiful day. Um do we do Jade Light Ranger? Um, we could even do... Let, I think we do this for X equals 2, right? And then we get extra counters because of how those two things interact. We're going to have it fight their commander. We're going to have it fight another creature. We don't control. Boom. There you go. Paying off already. Beautiful thing. Because one of its effects is that when it, comes, when it comes into play, we can double the number of plus one, plus one counters on it. So effectively, we got both of its uh, you know effects out of it because of this one. Yep. That feels good. Um, with toughness X or less, where X is the number of shrines you control, well, that's only the wolf for right now. They only have... Uh, is this a shrine? Okay, that's a spirit, not a shrine. That's kind of cool. All right, good. We like that. Um, what do we do here? Um, does this give trample? No, not necessarily. Um, maybe it's... Yeah, I think it's this, because we, we might need to find a land. Uh, do we keep that? Honestly, that might need to go to Graveyard. We don't have enough to play it right now, although we do have this. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's leave that on Library. Because that thing got a lot of counters there. We will attack. Right, that because we do have Gwenna in hand, um, we also have the Kodama of the West Tree that's going to give our modified creatures trample. Is that the one that lets them draw cards? Because that's really good. Yeah, that's super good. All right, so we're going to have to do... Um, I think it's going to have to be big this. All right, I got you after this game, sir. Definitely. Um, so this. And now we attack. They have trample. And we'll get lands. That's big good. And I think next turn they can kill the Kodama of the West Tree, unfortunately. But we do ramp with it for a bunch of mana. Okay, so that's good. 
Um, yes, and then, oh, right, they trigger separately. Sorry. Okay, yes. I thought it would just trigger two of them. Okay, whatever. They drew some really nice cards. That's, we're hoping that's not a board wipe, because if I were them, I would be happily wiping the board right now. They can cast their commander right now for all their mana. I would be A-OK -okay with that. They would be able to use their Black Shrine to destroy anything, though, which would kind of suck, to be honest. Does this make me discard cards? Oh, that's the lose life gain. Okay, cool. Well, they have one more mana. Is that Confluence there? Oh, Shattered Saint. Okay. Okay, yep, that's a good one to destroy, but it, it lets us keep our biggest ones, um, which is honestly fine with me right now. Um, what do we do? Do we do Gwenna? Do we do this? I think we might need to do this. Um, but this is this is going to be tough. They have one, two, three, four. Next turn, they would have five and six shrines, which would really suck. So we're going to have to drop this. Um, we're going to give the, shrine, the counters to who? I guess this. So it gets big counter. That's pretty cool. We're going to swing big. They have to block. They, they only have to make one chomp block. It's fine. Okay, we're going to be discarding, it looks like, the rest of our cards. If the um, Averbrook Caretaker lives... And they spend, like, a bunch of mana for their commander here, which we're really hoping. We can drop Vorinclex, give him um, two plus one plus one counters, which would be doubled twice to eight. And then he would swing us a 16. So we just hope that they don't have the uh, removal for him, because that would really suck. Um, but we're going for it. Um, I think we'll do it on this. Looks like they'll have something to say about it. Yeah, okay. So they're drawing a lot of cards at this point. Um, we're still going to attack with this, I think. Because they do have to invest pretty heavily to kill it. Um, at this point, the Ghost Shintai does kind of suck, though. So um, does this land have Trample? This makes them all the freaking spirit tokens. This sucks. Two life for each. Yeah, this is getting a little out of our hands at this point. Because they're drawing loads of cards, too. That's a big problem. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Um, we could do Hydra's Growth, but I don't know about that. We need we need this on something with Trample, you know? Um might have to be this, um, and then really swing hard at them. Um, I, th I think that might be it. On this. Yeah, we're going to kill the uh, commander so that they can't bring stuff back. Yeah, the, the lack of trample kind of sucks there. Yeah, that's just about it. We're going to get a chump to death there. Good game. All right, Aristotle, if you want to send another one, I, I got you. Or, um, you know, I'll just freaking send it. I want to extend this, uh, this invitation out to anyone if you want to play me in a viewer game. Historic Brawl here, happy to take you. I'll run Vorinclex. Let's go. Um, I got to kind of get this out of the way. Okay, that. Um, and what type is it? Friendly Brawl. Yep, I have to... Uh, what? <laughs> Why is it telling me that I can't use that? Okay, that's weird. Uh, yep, play. There you go. There you go. Let's go. All right, cool. I know he has an Elish Norn. Uh, 
list over here. Tashar, cool, man. I got that in uh, the five-color Jota list. Let you bring uh, legendary things back from your graveyard whenever you cast a creature spell, I think it is. Um, hmm. This is going to be a no from me, dog. I think I'm going to have to look at it. Maybe the deck list I... Do, do I have enough, like, mana dorks? I'm going to have to look at that. I don't know if I have enough mana dorks. I, I've been doing a lot of um, mulliganing. We're going to take this. All I have to do is get rid of this guy, I think. Um, although the Goreclaw and the Gwenna are good to get to that. But I like the Garrick's Uprising, though. I, I think that this needs to go, very unfortunately. It might just be too far out. Okay. So we got something. Sacrifice it. Search for basic land. Cool. Um, yes, please. Jesus. Okay, there it goes. Um... Do we hit Gwenna, or do we do Garrick's Uprising so that the next turn we can go right into Goreclaw? And I, like, actually start drawing cards. I kind of like Garrick's Uprising, honestly, because if he's because he might, you know, have a handful of, like, exiling somehow, be it enchantment or, like, Swords to Plowshare type, ex type exiling. Fateful Absence, you know? Like, he's running white. Okay, this thing. Very cool, very cool. Um, we are starting with Goreclaw, because I want to immediately get use out of this. Beautiful. A land for next turn. I love it. All right. Um, we'll have one, two, three, four, five mana. We could do Defiler into Vorinclex. Could we? No, I don't think that's going to work. This would be 1, 2, 3. This would be 1, 2, 3. And then a Phyrexian mana. So I, I think it might just be Vorinclex. Um, although we can do Arcane Signet Vorinclex, which is pretty darn cool. And now we attack, and all of our stuff gets plus 1, plus 1. We get a card. You'll have to see it. I wonder if he's bringing that back from the graveyard, because he just blocked a trampler with it. I hope he doesn't do too much with that. He's got three cards in hand. What's this? Exile it. Shuffle up to five target cards from grave into library. Okay. wonder if he has tutors paired with that or some ways to go and grab them out of his library. So, do I do Gwenna into Fight Rigging? Maybe it's Defiler into Fight Rigging? Because Fight Rigging is going to be freaking huge. Defiler puts plus one, plus one counter on our creatures whenever we cast a green permanent spell. A lot of us probably know that. Um, yeah, this might get ugly. Let's see. Um, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I think we start with this. Yeah, this is this is gonna get ugly. He he better have something to do with. I guess this taps for mana also. So um, great. Yeah, this thing. Yes, please. We're paying for it with life, so we can also get fight ringing out. This is gonna be ugly. This is it. I mean, unless he has a way to kill our uh, attacking creatures, that's it. Just in case um we oh no we won't draw into anything. Okay, so that was a waste for this. I should have just paid with a uh, whatever. I mean, we're rearranging the deck chairs at the Hinden on the uh, Hindenburg at this point, so to speak. Might as well just do that one. It doesn't matter. Now, combat. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what he's got. He'll have to kill Vorinclex. Goreclaw is not lethal on its own. Vorinclex is 15 trampling. 
Alright, yeah, it's just not worth it. Yeah, good game. Yeah. I wasn't sure what you had, so it wasn't to run up the score there. It was to give you the respect you deserve. Okay, salute to you, sir. GG. Never, you never know what's going to be up your sleeve there. Let's go. If you want another one, you're more than happy to, or you're more than welcome to uh, hit me up for more. You know that. Gonna uh, play another one right here, though. Yeah, I got a bunch of uh, nice top decks after my uh, after my opening hand was like all right. Ah, oh, should have kept his first hand. Yeah. Um, what do we do with this one? I I don't think I can keep this. Eh, yeah, we could try this. Yeah, because these two interact kind of nice together. This gives uh, everything with a plus one, plus one counter, the mana ability to add green. Okay. Um, I think we play the beetle first just because... Um, we're up against blue and black, and like as we can see, they're examining at the, on the stack. And now that it's on the field, they haven't even passed priority yet. So if I had put Gala Greeters down, it probably just dies. Thank you. Oh, the first hand was more removal heavy. Okay, well, hey, I'm, I'm grateful that I didn't see it. Yeah, let's go. Um, okay, um, we are going to pass. I think I might want to... Um, I think I might want to play Gala Greeters and then hold open this. All right, cool. I would imagine they drop their Planeswalker, hold open the uh, Mox Amber past turn. Yeah, they'll plus it. It'll be almost at its ult right now. That we'll have to get Gila Greeters down, protect it from their kill spell, and then swing in for a decent clip. Yeah, pass turn. This uh puts a plus one plus one counter on it, and in addition to giving it all those things. So um, when we attack in, and then Tasha's going to give it a uh, minus one, minus one counter, at least we'll be able to counter that to a uh, decent extent. Yep, well, five mana, so we will start with this thing, so we can put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and itself. Yep, there you go. Uh, counter. Counter, counter, just making it as strong as possible. Uh, yeah, and, uh, we'll attack. So there you go, it loses one of those counters. We still hold open the indestructibility, the fight spell, too. Uh, do you have to? Um, fine. Yeah, because they'll probably just get rid of Defiler or Vigor. It's honestly fine. Yeah, so we still hold open the, uh, the what's it called, the utility of this thingy. Yep, until your next turn, blah, 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 nobody Don't cares. Don't try okay. anything cheeky now. Alright, loser, what are you gonna do? Oh, God. If, you, if you're going to sit there and be the big boss in charge of the whole entire game, monopolizing the fun, could you do it in a reasonable amount of time, you idiot? God. All right, great. Now it's a lot of fun facing you. Um, okay, let's see. Um, probably not Vorinclex. It seems like they're very clearly ready for that. Um, we can probably start by attacking, I think. Uh, that... Yep, so we'll get minus counters. Uh, 
All right, I don't mind it there. I think we're going to start with branching evolution and then still hold open this. That's something that they might want to counter with the very obvious counter that they have open. Its controller creates two treasure tokens. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's uh, pass to the next turn. There you go. Um, okay, siphon insight again. We have this, and we can use those treasure tokens to kick it, too, and have all the effects. Um, which is, you know, two plus one plus one counters, blah, 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 blah. If they get a creature onto the field. Yep. Keep your distance, mortals. Search for an instant or sorcery. Oh, God, is it a counter? This actually sucks facing you. Just straight up, it actually blows. All right, well, let's see if we can get Vorinclex onto the field. If we can't, I'm just conceding. I don't care enough to face this person. My god. Alright, well, we'll uh, put the plus one plus one counters on it now. Gets two. That's nice. Okay. We are going to attack, let's see, that. Uh, yep, just that. And then this can attack them. And I think that's all. Yep. And they're going to get blood on the snow. We will use the uh, Gaia's Gift on Vorinclex. It seems I have a new rivalry. It'll get all that stuff, indestructible, blah 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 So maybe they know that and they like have a counter open for that as well. Yep. So they still have two mana. They can't use this for mana right now. Hell yeah, Hillbilly. How you doing, man? Nice to have you. Looks like they do that. Pretty annoying. Um, so... We'll move that to Command Zone. I think we're just about done here. This... Honestly, I'm sorry. This this game just sucks. I apologize for this guy. That That's just... Like, it would be fine if you weren't slow as fuck. But, like, yeah, good game. Like, not. Just kidding. Oh, how you doing, Hillbilly? Nice to have you, man. We're running, uh... We're running Vorinclex Commander. Hell yeah, dude. Been looking forward to this, and it shares a lot of cards in common with, um, like a Kodama of the West Tree list. Um, I guess it has a bunch of cards from Halana and Elena, things that benefit from counters or whatever. Oh, right, I gotta look and see if I have enough, like, freaking mana dorks in here. I mean, we do have this one, that's kinda nice. Uh, okay, what do we do here? Um... What do we do? You know what? I think it's Elvish Mystic, and then turn two, we play this for X equals two. And then just start letting it grow. And then on turn three, we play this before we do the um, land drops. That way, maybe we can turn the land off the top of the library. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've been looking forward to this one for, uh, for a little bit. Really happy to start playing it. I'd love to get some, uh, some funny numbers on the... Uh, with the plus one, plus one counters, you know? <laughs> Can't wait for that. All right, so this, we're going to put this. Yes, please. Okay, I'm going to do it. There it is. I did it. Um, one, two. I'm fine casting this for a low X number because, um, let me bring it up. Whenever one or more plus one, plus one counters are put on another non-Hydra creature, and we like have one other Hydra in the whole entire deck, put a plus one, plus one counter on this one. So, like, for example, if we had Defile or a Vigor out and it put a plus one, plus one counter on each of our creatures, that I believe that ability triggers each time. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I'm hoping that this one grows. Oh, shit. I did exactly what I said I wasn't going to freaking do. You know what? That's fine. Because we can go Ranger class. We can put that on the field. We can uh, bring it up to level two. I kind of messed up. Sorry. And we're going to attack this, and we're going to force them to block. It gets the counter. It doesn't get extra counters, because that only activates when the, the counters yeah on another non-Hydra. But nevertheless. Death is but a it wasn't a total waste of the turn, even though I was a silly and forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> 
Oh, this is at the beginning of combat. Okay, yeah, the poor guy. He must have had a poopy hand there. Hell yeah, chills. How are we doing? Welcome to the stream, man. Let's go. Um, MTG Hillbilly. Yes, sir. I've, uh, I, uh, I don't know all of them. But I have seen a bunch of them. I've seen like a, a, some of the uh, completed Planeswalkers. Jace uh, Nissa is going to be uh, doing one. I actually have a me the message pin there is um for the new dinosaur card. I think the spoiler was released today. Definitely worth a look. Um, things pretty cool. Like to see it. Thank you, sir. Interesting deck. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a, for a long time, man. I, I love green creatures with haste, like Frog Hemoth right here. Obviously, our commander. Um, I, I think this one's a little slow, though. We got a mulligan that. Um, yeah, I might have to take a look at this really fast and take out um for a couple of mana, like two cost mana dorks. Um, we're going to keep the six here, I think. Hope for the best. Um, we'll get rid of probably the Awakening there. Okay, that is a phenomenal drop for uh, next turn. Yeah, that uh, that dinosaur looks really cool, dude. I mean, it costs a lot, but like you, you do get some good stuff out of that thing. Um, I think we're going to start growing Champion of Lamholt, so that way by the time Selvala can attack, um, it might be the biggest creature on the field so that she can tap for a bunch of mana, right? Alright, they dropped this. Whenever you cast your first spell, you can cast the freaking next one without paying its mana cost. Oh, joy. Alright, well, we're going to do that. It's only going to get a two. Creatures with power... With less power, can't block it. Okay, so they can block it right there. We're not doing that. Next turn. Okay, they only got Elvish. Fortunately, they whiffed. Extremely fortunately. Um, they do get the card draw because this guy was the greatest power among creatures on the field. That is a sub ability there. Um, what do we do here? Um, it might have to be Query and Beast Caller first. And then this will, um, Zavala will tap for three, so we'll be able to get this down afterwards. Um, that's what we do, I think. Yep. Oh, shoot. Because they're just going to destroy that. That was dumb of me, because they're just going to destroy that with Silverback Elder. Yeah, there was no point in playing that. Yeah, there you go. Destroy target artifact or enchantment pretty clearly. Yeah, that was, that was silly of me. All right, nevertheless... That did take three of their mana. They just moved to combat. They might only attack with the Silverback Elder. Okay, they didn't even do that. Um, what do we do here? Um, maybe I play this just so that I can then play this for like X equals zero just to get more counters on the stuff. I don't think that really does a good job, though. We might want to just drop this thing, to be honest, um, just to get, yeah, let's do that. Try two, then draw a card. Time warp, Jesus Christ. But they can't cast that right now, right? Because, or can they as part of that effect? Because, like, it's a sorcery. Or, uh, well, they could just have it in their hand, I guess. Cast it. If you don't cast it, put it into your hand. Yeah, that's freaking awful. Um, which planeswalker? I just meant, like, the, uh, the Nissa planeswalker. I don't even remember what they do, to be honest. I saw a Kaya that was, a. Uh, it was pretty uh, expensive, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, we can't really do anything else here, unfortunately. So let's just uh, pass the freaking game, which kind of is annoying. Um, but next turn, we should be able to, let's see, Savala for four. That involves tapping this and this. And then we could tap these two for the remaining six. God, they have Nyx Bloom Ancient on the field. So this they're going to have six mana to follow it up with. They, yeah, we were a little too clunky here. I think that's probably about it at this point. Um... Because Vorinclex is going to come in, it's really not going to do a whole lot, because these are going to get counters. Um, Oh, that's when it enters the battlefield? This is on cast. Okay, so this is when it enters the battlefield. So we will get a decent swing in then, because this is going to get two plus one plus one counters when Vorinclex enters the battlefield. It'll have six power. Nothing they have will be able to block. 
Although we won't really get, like, a, a lethal swing in. And then they have Nyx Bloom Ancient. Oh, God, yeah, they just time warp. You know what? Good game. Let's just go on to the next one. That that sucks, yeah. Because they have Nyx Bloom Ancient and a freaking free turn and Silverback Elder. Like, that's really bad for us. Yeah, let me just take a look really quick. Um, Yeah, give me a moment. I, I have an idea. I think that uh, that 4-4, four, four, like, dog that I just played, I think I might take that out for you for just, like, some mana dork. If I if I have Elysian Caryatid, it might be the uh, the one that when you have four creatures, it can attack and block. Is that Leafkin Druid? Um, yeah, let's go. Um, where were you? Right here. I like that it has Vigilance and Trample, though. Um Yeah, that, okay, I like that. Another two-drop play. Let me take a look at how this, like, looks. <laughs> yeah, thank you, okay. Whatever, yeah. Um, yes, save changes, and my sideboard is currently empty. In Historic Brawl, my sideboard's empty. Okay. Black got a kill Planeswalker spell. There's a sword that gives protection from red and green. Oh, I know that it's a personal attack. <laughs> really cool card, though. I think, like, whenever the equipped creature... It gets plus two, plus two, like most of the swords. And, like, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I think, you reveal, like, the top two cards of your library. You can play them this turn, and then the equipped creature also protection. Red and green. Yeah. Sucks to be me. Um, Gala Greeters plus this isn't terrible. We go first. That's nice. The order is Gala Greeters into this, I believe. We're up against Vorinclex Monstrous Raider as well. Cool. So that. I think we'll probably go Jade Light Ranger next turn just to spend all of our mana. And then, yeah, maybe check out the top card really fast if we like it or not. Is that Heraldic Banner? Yep, nice, good. All right, let's see what we get. Um, that might be... Is it the counter? Yeah, I think so, because that way we can do five mana's worth of stuff next turn. Yes, we like Yorvo. We like Yorvo a lot. Um, oh, yeah, we can attack. Yep, that's tapped. Very good. Okay, so, with Yorvo on top, I would guess that next turn we do Yorvo and then this. Right? Yes. Hmm. I'm thinking, though, because if I don't draw land after that, then that's not super good. Let me take a look at their side. Yeah, if they drop a land next turn, they're going to have um, Vorinclex out, which is going to be pretty brutal. So I might not want to uh, use that treasure token, um, which would mean what? Do I just do Yorvo? I think so. Do I do Yorvo now, or do I... You do Garrick's Uprising and get the card right now. Um, honestly, it might be Garrick's Uprising and get the freaking card. I, I really want the land next turn. Okay, we're really fortunate to get it there. Um, one, two, three, four, and then five. So, okay, I can actually play this right now. I'll use the treasure token and just make another one. Okay, and now we attack. All right, and hopefully they have to entirely tap out for their commander and don't get anything else. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, plus one, plus one counter, so that's three, seven... Uh, 12, 18 damage. We're going to be one short of freaking lethal, right? Um, 10, 16. So why don't we hold one thing back? Just in case he happens to go nuts, because this does double the number of plus one, plus one counters that he gets on stuff. 
But we have this. Distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three target creatures and then double the number of plus one plus one counters. I don't even know if they're going to attack. Okay, they actually did attack. Um, I think we don't block so that we can just swing harder. Yeah, I think we put two counters on him. One, or one? Do they have trample? They all have trample. Okay, so... Counters. We're going to put one on each. One, two, three, and then double the counters on each one. There you go. Now more. They all have trample. There you go. Oh, very good. Very good. Garrick's Uprising. I, I love that card, though. Like, especially here when we're going to be going for, like, silly amounts of plus one, plus one counters on stuff, like... It would just be antithesis to, like, you know, big green stompy if we were getting chump blocked, you know? Like, oh, God. No, we want the trample, man. Speaking of trample, that new dinosaur from New Phyrexia there, it's got trample. So, like, if they don't block all of its eight damage, they're getting all four of its poison counters from Toxic 4. Um, hmm. We do have... We have two dorks, but, like, I don't know. One, two, and then three, and then four total mana with, with really nothing going on. Do we keep this? I think that's a mulligan. Jesus. Fine. Yep, keep six. Fine. Get rid of what? Get rid of what here? Maybe this thing, honestly. I don't know. Um... It's, it's all right. Maybe the Garrick's Uprising, because we don't have anything to really trigger it yet. This is a pretty good thing to drop first. Um, well, Creature. I think we're going to drop Cold Steel Heart first. Yeah, because then it'll help us cultivate. That's a pretty nice pick up there. So we can do, like, um, the this beetle into Rishkar, I think, is pretty cool. I kind of like this thing, too, because this is going to grow. I haven't seen many creatures from them yet, so I don't know how much the, uh, the trample is going to matter there. Um, I actually should have done um, Cultivate first and not drop that land. Um, because now I'm, yeah, I keep freaking saying that and not doing it. I'll get it. Yeah, but now they're going to know one of the cards in my hand. Didn't have to be that way. Nevertheless, okay, next turn, six mana. Um, I say this. Um, do we kick it? Eh, nah. It's just going to freaking die anyway. Hey, look at this loser. Look at him. He's so excited to kill the first thing. <laughs> Doesn't even know what to do with himself. <laughs> I'm killing you! No! Yep, sacrifice a creature. Yep, cool nope shirt there you got on him. Very nice. Yep, target up to two creatures. We'll target the one. He gets a counter, and thereby he imbues upon himself a mana ability. There you go. Tap, add a green. Alright, what does your commander freaking do? Yep, target player, sacrifice a creature. Loads of fun going one for one removal with you, idiot. Alright, um, ooh, that's a pretty good card. I would like to see the land situation going on here. Let's do it. We would love to drop lands off. That sucks. All right, we're going to drop that. All right, we have to sacrifice that. No problem. Um, if they bring their commander in, we could do this next turn and destroy it right away. All right, just more freaking one-for-one one removal. What a, what a freaking joy. This is, this is great. Um, what's in their library right there? Um... All right, I think we play Scavenging Ooze and Pass and just, uh... Oh, yeah, it's Black Control. I'm just going to shit on him because, you know, it sucks to face him. 
Um, and why don't we pass turn, so that way if they uh, target it, we can just eat up their graveyard really fast. Yep, Replicating Ring, because he's just going to sit here, probably try to kill everything while establishing himself some card advantage. Alright, we're going to keep doing this. Just going to eat them all. We're going to take away his will to live. Just going to keep... We're going to do every single one of them. You sit there and wait. You like This is what you've brought upon yourself. Every single one of them. I have one more. Every single one of them. Um, okay. Um, I would say, is it Vorinclex or is it this thing? Um, I kind of like, um, this thing. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. We'll actually do this, because if we get a creature in a graveyard, and we, we could just remove ours to um, get this the counter, so that way it'll proliferate with this. Well, not proliferate, but whenever it attacks, we put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature. Yeah. And I will sit there and do every single card individually. He deserves it. Um, X equals three. Do we, how many, how many, um, creature, how many things are in our graveyard here? What a freaking tip. Are you kidding me? Like, I guess you have a backup plan for this. Do you want me to, like, go into my graveyard and just, like, remove all my stuff? My text box is in the way. I'm sorry. So we're going to sit here and do, uh, this. Yep. We're going to keep going. You asked for this. I'll give it to you, too. And I'll, I'll be slow with it, too. I'm just going to take my time. It's behind my text box. So I have to be careful. All right, yep, resolve. Was that actually it? Oh, you're actually stupid. Okay. Um, well, we're going to drop this and attack. There you go. Not terrible. We will not play Snakeskin Veil vale right now. Plus one, plus one counter, and Hexproof until end of turn. Not bad, because it gets two plus one, plus one counters instead, since we have our uh, commander on the field, doubling the number of plus one, plus one counters, and, well, just any counters put on our stuff. Rankle, they're going to have us sacrifice a creature that's annoying. Almost certainly that's what happens here. Each player loses one life and draws a card. Yep, sacrifice a creature. We discard, or sorry, sacrifice, not discard. That one. Yep, all right. Oh, boy. What do we have to do? Target player sacrifices a non-token creature. Yeah, okay, that's annoying. Nice and annoying. All right, we have seven mana. So we can do hardened scales and then this and then hold open snakeskin veil. Uh, past turn. Okay. We've got it open. As long as they don't make us sacrifice a creature, we're good. And even if they do, we can still almost afford our commander. Well, uh, I guess actually losing this would make it so that we don't. Do we have to sacrifice a creature? Ugh, God, that's so annoying. All right, so we need to draw the land here. We did not draw the land. That freaking sucks. Because now they're going to establish freaking card advantage. Yep. Uh, well, that's about it. Good game. Uh, I, I don't see what to do unless we get something extremely good. Because they're just going to make us sacrifice a creature. So, like, we need to draw a land, cast our commander, and resolve it. Yeah, that's not it. Good game. That is not happening. Yep, good game. Unfortunately. Uh, yep, good game. 
damn, that sucks. But they had the um, target player sacrifices stuff, so I could never use that snakeskin veil. And like, indestructible wouldn't have mattered either. Oh yeah, that's that's tough. Oh man, it was all sacrifice too. That sucks. That's that's good because it just it, you know gets around hexproof, indestructible, so many things. Tovalar. All right, let's go. Uh, we go first. We have Gila Greeters. We have Explorer. All right, yeah. I guess we'll cast Explore first. Try to draw to that next land. We actually need two next lands. That's a good start, though, because we drop this land right now. And we get the fourth. That is pretty fortunate. I think we'll probably go Guardian Project. Is that what we do? I I think so. And next turn, it would be extremely nice to draw um, a land, I think. Wow, we got the land. Phenomenal. Wow. Um, okay, what do we do here? Is it... Nissa, untap the land, swing, and then Gila Greeters? I kind of like that. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Do we think they'll, uh... I don't think that they'll take, that they'll uh, block that, right? Because they, they'll have to wait two turns for their commander. Yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, so we get the card with Guardian Project. Great, great start. And I will sacrifice Gila Greeters to, uh, to save Nyssa. Because, like, yeah, she makes our commander affordable. I mean, hell, we could use... Um, some of those lands to tap for Nyx Bloom Ancient, and then we could just play like the rest of everything we have. Right? This costs seven, so we'd tap four mana for it. But then we'd uh still have one mana floating. We would untap one of those forests with Nissa, add a lot of uh stuff. Okay, yeah, we one hundred percent uh That's attacking us and this is attacking that. Um uh, you know what? Honestly I'm gonna take that. Yeah, we're going to play everything, I think. Let's see if we can do it. Um, that. Why don't we start with this? So we're going to start with the tap treasure token. We're going to wait on the plus one, plus one counter until Vor and Klex is on the field. Um, so untap. Um, so that. Um, you, yes, you, yeah. Now you get counters. Wow, not bad. Um, now you too, or this, you. Wow, okay, and we will swing? Yes. I have no problem chump blocking with the 2-2. I mean, we don't even need Nissa's bonus um, since we have um, this guy or this guy out. Whenever we tap a, anything for mana, we add triple that mana. That's really good. They can go ahead and kill Nissa. They can go ahead and deal us a bunch of damage. How much land do they have? They're tapped out. That's really bad for them. Um, yeah, we're going to block this. Um, trample haste. Yep. They don't have, like, ill-tempered loner, right? Um, and we can just block anything with this. How about um, Tovalar? Uh, does it have trample? Um, no. Yeah, we're good there. Limit the stuff that they block. That's f Or that they draw, sorry. Two cards instead of four. That's probably just a concession. Yeah, good game. That was nice of him. Yeah. Um, I always sing the praises of Nyx Bloom Ancient. It's actually just so good. <laughs> We didn't play our whole turn last turn, like I said, but or our whole hand. But this turn, we would have played freaking everything. Yeah, Had a pretty wild capacity for mana there. Looks like about 20 with five lands, with that mana tripled to, like, 15. And then Nyssa adding a forest every time we play them to, like, more. Five more, to be precise. 
Not bad. I think they. I think that would have been four green mana out of each forest. I'm not sure if Nissa's extra mana gets gets tripled. I don't think so. Okay. Let's go. Up against that one. I like that one. Very cool. Uh, free mulligan. Yes. Yes. In fact, this is quite nice. Now. Up against white and black. Do we go straight into Gwenna? I am not convinced that's the right idea. Um, honestly, it might even be Cold Steel Heart so we can drop Oracle next turn. We're not even attacking. Like, I think I want Oracle that bad, especially since we have no lands in hand right now, that I will Snakeskin Veil on my Elvish Mystic. They missed their white source of mana. They're not happy with that. Yeah, thank you. I will Snakeskin Veil it. And let's go for the throat out of the way. Not terrible, right? Yeah, so we... Pretty please. Wow. Beautiful. Um, I can't drop that for X equals 1, unfortunately. Just please let Oracle live, man. Oh, God damn it. Whatever. You know what? We got the freaking land. Okay, we see that we're going to have a land there. So that is honestly a beautiful thing. Um, so I think that is probably Arcane Signet... Gwenna. And then this for X equals 1. Always a... Yep. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I... Oh, this thing is so freaking good, to be honest. Like, it's actually so freaking good. Drop your commander. Awesome. Alright, and then what is that? Sacrifice another creature, each opponent. Ugh, gosh, okay. Nice and annoying. You know what? I think we're actually going to drop this and not even Vorinclex, because they, they just block Vorinclex with this, right? And then what do they do? They uh, We can bring it back next turn. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Honestly, I think we can go Vorinclex. Is that what we do? I'm Honestly, no. I want to go this. You know what? We will drop this, too. Uh, and yeah, just past turn. I just found your channel a few days ago. I love your deck building. Oh, thank you, man. Yep. Simple, straightforward, play mana, cast things when probably I should cheat them in, but I'm not smart enough to do that. So thank you, sir. Very much appreciate the kind words and welcome, of course. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Honestly, we're going to do a, do we do this first? No, this. Um, shit, I should have... Why doesn't it... Why doesn't it tap it first? Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Don't don't tap it first. Whatever. Um, we're going to attack with that, that, that. Um, big pressure, that too. They can block Vorinclex with their commander, but then that requires them next turn to tap it for just about all their mana. Either all their mana or all minus one. They actually went on Gwenna there. That's not going to lie. That's a pretty cool move. Because then maybe next turn they block Vorinclex. And then it'll be more difficult for us to uh, cast it again since it dorks for two mana. Pretty interesting. I think next turn what we'll do, especially since it looks like they're just going to cast Commander. Okay, I'm wrong. I think I know everything. I don't. Um, but Ranger class and then level two. Looks like they're they're gearing up to like wipe their own board or something there. Um, so this we have one two three four five mana here, so we can um, go ahead and cultivate, and then still do level two there. Okay, we'll get. Uh, hang on, let me take a second to pick the optimal force there. Do you guys think I picked the right ones? Um, oh, sorry. Yep, proliferate, so, yep. Just wait for the proliferate screen to go up. Yep, do that. 
Um, you know what? We're going to proliferate. We're going to drop this land in the second main phase, I think. So that way we can put the counter on foreign clicks here and then proliferate with it. Right? I think that's what we do. Um, attack with all them. You know what? Yes. All them. Counter's going to go on you so that when we proliferate, the trampler gets more stuff. Yeah, I like that this thing just grows. Remember, we played this for what? X equals one or two? I, I love that you can just like leave it there and just like let your Hydra grow itself, you know? And yeah, sure, it's going to get chumped. Yep, nice. We still get a fat swing in, and then we do this. Yeah. Yeah, for each counter that we put on this one and then this one, yeah, this one got <laughs> one counter for each one, which is two counters for each one. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have trample, but nevertheless, you know, they got this, which destroys target artifact or enchantment. At this point, it's too late. That's fine. Because now when we proliferate with the landfall on this thing, yeah, we already have the uh, the counters on the trampler to do that. So that's what matters. So if they don't have a kill spell, we'll probably just see the resignation. Like, even a land at this point isn't a dud just because of this thing. All right, Pell Collector actually is a bit of a dud. Yeah, it do just uh, chickens out. <laughs> okay. I mean, you you saw your hand. You knew that you didn't have anything to... Okay, good game. Good game, nevertheless, you know. He, he tried to figure out if he could do anything. He had to see it on the board. Well, yeah, he saw it. Good game. Good game. I like that commander. Honestly, I haven't seen it yet. Every time I face that guy, I'm always like, oh, we're going to see them like load up the board with those blood artist type effects. You know, like whenever their creatures die or any creature, whatever, like they gain a life and we lose one. And I always think they're going to load up the board with those kinds of effects and like wipe themselves. I never see that. All right, we go first. We got Big Dork. I think that's pretty cool. Um, which one of the newer sets did you like the most? For me, it was definitely Streets of New... Oh, that's cool, man. I wonder why you liked it. Did you like it because it like had that cool gangstery like uh, vibe to it or whatever the hell I should call it, art style? Yeah, man, that that's... Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, Streets of New Capen is freaking cool, man. And uh, Unlicensed Hearse, that, like, you know, Colorless Graveyard hate is from there. And that's big mana. Or that's, yeah, uh, big money, sorry. They're, like, $14 or something each. And, like, you need, like, at least more than one of them. I like four. Like, I see a lot of people running, too. But as for which one's my uh, favorite, um... I mean, I actually like Dominaria United a lot. Um, I like the cycle of dragons from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Because um, I like Atsushi a lot. Um, why don't we start by um, plussing Vivian and see what happens here. You can't a land is a perfectly fine thing. We get a whole bunch of land, so that's that's what we're doing. There, there you go. Um, I think we do... We start with Explore. Wow, we actually drew the extra land. It's a beautiful thing. This, because it's going to have Vorinclex enter with a, um, a plus one counter, which I think should be two plus one counters. I'm not convinced exactly how that works. Like, does he get the counter when he's on the field? Three color sets? Oh, yeah, Jetmir. Oh, hell yeah, man, absolutely. Um, you know what? I think we're going to drop Vorinclex, and then we're going to plus Vivian. Looks like they might have something to say about that. All right, nice and annoying. Nevertheless, whatever. Um, we, yeah, move him to the command zone. Um, we're going to minus Vivian at this point, and we're going to destroy that because um, we're not letting them have a card. No and, uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> no. Ass wipe. Oh, you like that? You like, oh, oh what? Vivian does that? But I thought I was in control. Ah, oh, fuck you. You're stupid, Nickel Bolas Avatar. You're an idiot. Just kidding. He just didn't read the card, just like me. <laughs> I like this guy, to be perfectly honest. Doesn't read the card. Good boy. 
Um, and the art on Streets of New Queens. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That, that was really cool, right? Yep. Happy I'm not alone on that one. Yep. I love that Titan of Industry fits in there, because it's just like a big freaking building. Um, we are going Vorinclex, and then we're going to plus Vivian so that she gets two counters. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. Sorry. I just... I see a control player, and then w what happens is, like, my vision turns to red. You know? Like, you, you, you know how, like, like, that's how they, like, make the bulls get angry? Like... They just, like, put the red in front of their face. Or at least in the cartoons, that's what they do. I just see red, man. And I just gotta, like, charge at it with, with the aggression that I have pent up, you know? Just just from them countering all my stuff, and it pisses me off. And I just... One of them I just let loose. Poor guy. Because he's probably a big fan of M Big Fat MTG. You know, probably has, like, a poster of me on his wall or something. And you know what? Like... It sucks to have to say that to, like, you know, one of my people who considers themselves, like, my biggest fan and everything. But, like, you know, like, I'm disappointed in you, you know? And, like, what I, I want that to, you know, push him in the right direction. But, you know, nevertheless, I am disappointed in that guy, and I want him to hear that. Um, okay. Um, what what does this do? Um, okay, are you, are you going to counter all my fucking stuff? Um, what do we do here? Um, let's see. Keep seven, sure. Because, I mean, it, it's functional, right? We can get to Jade Light Ranger, which is good. Jund was such a blast to play before rotation. Well, what were you what were you playing in Jund? Uh, the only experience in Jund I had was a little bit of green dinosaur, or Jund dinosaur, sorry. Wonder what you were playing. Hopefully, maybe maybe Soul of Wind Grace will show up in a commander. Um, let's see. Do we do that? I, I don't think it's time for that. I, I think it might be time for Voracious Hydra X equals two. Right. I don't know if they're gonna get that killed for me. Uh, yep, <laughs> fights target creature you don't control. Well, it's pretty much only one choice there. All right, there you go. Not bad. Yeah, this Voracious Hydra already earning its keep for me. I mean, I, I think most of us knew it would. We probably had Voracious Hydras uh, come in and, uh, you know, do well against us. Nothing new there. They foretell what we probably assume is, um, saw it coming. Kind of have to assume that it's either that or, like, behold the multiverse. But we got to play like it's a counter. So let's see. Jun Bard class. Cool, dude. Damn, Bard class is freaking strong. Isn't that the one that makes it to that legendary spells? Like, cast a, uh, or cost a green and a red less? That's pretty nuts. All right, um, we're going to drop this. Um, I think we're going to start with Jade Light Ranger. We're going to see what we get here. All right, idiot, are you going to counter that? You're in control, man. You got it all figured out. What, do you fucking watch Joe Rogan? All right, um, do I want that one? Um, do we want that one? Eh, you know what? Honestly, we can probably graveyard that. Um, okay, I'm fine. I'll just swing for two, whatever. All right, let's go. What are, what are, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do we see that thing stay foretold? Or, because I would imagine if it's Behold the Multiverse, he'd... Honestly, he probably would have wanted to use it last turn. It's at six mana. The commander costs four. If he bounces either of those to our hand, that's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, he'd probably do it with the intention of then countering them, you know, but nevertheless. Um, all right, why don't we... Um, why don't we just straight attack with what we have? Do we play this thing? I could play this thing just for X equals 4, honestly. I think they're just waiting to counter something, though. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good thing to counter. And it would add 4 extra power to our side of the field, which decreases from their turn clock. 
So, oh, we didn't say please, my bad. I, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> didn't say please. If I'm gonna get countered, at least it made me chuckle, okay? I'll, I'll take it. Okay, tap them. They don't untap next turn, and then they get to filter through some cards. Pretty cool. Nice, yep. And they have uh, conspicuously, of course, mana enough to counter. Okay. We broke the chains that bind us there. Um, do we do... I think Vivian might be a good way to start a... Uh, yeah. Well, I'm surprised that just went through like that. Um, yep, we're going to plus, though, so that way when the two birds attack in... Yeah. It's fine. Um, do we Blizzard Brawl? I think we might wait for their commander to Blizzard Brawl. So they can bring Vivian down to three. That's fine. Just plus her again. I'm considering getting the Vivian Monsters Advocate, the one that like lets you cast creatures off the top of your library, and it puts those 3-3 three, three, um, tokens into play. Ugh, that sucks. I mean, it's honestly not the worst thing in the world, um, because what do we have? We have 6 mana, so we can do Jade Light Ranger, and uh, I mean, we could do, let's see, Cold Steel Heart, and then Jade Light Ranger. We get the Explorer again with it. Like, it's not the worst thing in the universe. Alright, um, I think we'll start with Jade Light Ranger before we do Cold Steel Heart. Um, I actually like that one. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, I guess that's just Cold Steel Heart on green, and, um, do we Blizzard? No, I think we'll, once again, save the Blizzard Brawl for their, um, commander there. So it'd be nice if they didn't cast something like Liar there to, um, yeah, kind of like flashback freaking Rivers Rebuke. All right, they got that again. Now, that costs six to transform, or, oh, it costs six on the, tra oh, God. They got freaking Paradox Engine, and we do not have the uh, removal for it. But it would only untap this, so it's not, like, super good right now, to be honest. Um, I mean, we could drop Vorinclex here, and then we would still have Blizzard Brawl on their on their commander, which I actually like. Um, Blizzard Brawl on that. And we will attack. All right, they blocked the Trampler. I think they messed that one up. Forgot I had Trample. Fair enough. I don't read the cards either, but that's why I went run green. This guy's fooling himself. He's running blue. When you cast it, yep, very good, very good. Uh, move it to Command Zone. All right, that costs eight, so that's going to be really difficult to deal with. Um, cause I don't think I have a way to get rid of that right now. Um, I could do Voracious Hydra and then, yeah, pretty much nothing else. So that's a good game. That's it. Good game. Wow. Pretty rough today. Not gonna lie. Damn. He got freaking Cityscape Leveler out onto the field. There's just not enough that I can get on the board. I, I could get a Heroic Intervention play once, but it's just, it's just not enough to deal with that every single turn. Oh man. Good game. We did a nice job pressuring his commander, though. Like, that was kind of nice, but... Oh, man. The Cityscape Leveler is a... <laughs> That's a good card, as it turns out. <laughs> All right, we're up against Azusa. Oh, and I, they go first, and I have, like... I'm going to do Mindstone, and then they're going to drop their commander, and then they're going to drop two more lands. Do I keep this? Because it's, it's not terrible. Like, we do have the Mind Stone. I think, honestly, maybe I mulligan it. Because, like, they're going first. That We know that sucks. Um, to be honest, this isn't much better. But we could draw a creature and then, like, you know, use this to put plus one, plus one counters on stuff. 
Oh, yeah, you're not the only one who uh, isn't a fan of poison counters. A lot of people have not been fans of poison counters for, like, well over a decade. I don't remember when New Phyrexia came out, but, like, it was before I took, like, a long break from the game. So it was a while ago. And, like, Infect was, like, horrible back then. And you, somebody in Wizards of the Coast just can't be convinced that, you know, their, like, genius idea, like, just unfortunately just doesn't really, like, doesn't really do it. All right, they drop at least one. Yeah, they drop two lands. What is that one? Oh, cool. Yep, very nice, very nice. All right, well, we actually get a land there, so we are very happy with that. Um... I think that's going to be Voracious Hydra fight that thing. Once again, X equals 2 Voracious Hydra. Coming in super handy with a nice early commander snipe. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep, already super happy with this thing. Because, I mean, basically the two lands that they just dropped basically paid for its commander tax. But at least now they have to drop 5 next turn just to have, like, you know... Azuz on the field. We, If we get a land, I will be so freaking happy. Because we can drop Silverback. All right, and they cultivate. Phenomenal, because they get another uh, land. They already played a land, though. I, that might have been a bit of a mistake for them there, because they don't get the uh, other yeah, effect out of this. Beaut That's wild. We actually got Silverback Elder down. Um, and we will not attack. Okay, so, what do we do? Let's see. Um, this, get a land, I would say. Um, and then, okay, and then we would have one, two remaining, maybe three, if we draw a land, because the land off of this comes in tapped. It would be nice to get this down also. Uh, Besage you put up to one from your from grave on top of library. They don't have that, so we don't have to kill that next turn. We we can wait a little while. I just started playing before Neon Neon Dynasty, so the mechanic is mostly new to me. Oh, okay, from Finn the Finn the Fang Bear was something that you didn't see. That yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like it's annoying, but at least you didn't see it that often. But uh, <laughs> we'll see about that. And, like, Toxic does limit the amount of poison counters that you get, but there's also a lot of proliferate effects, which will give extra counters to players. Uh, they got Guardian Project. That needs to die yesterday. So, yeah, we are killing that, and they will not be pleased. Um, yeah, okay, so since we didn't draw the land, we're actually going to go Celestis into, uh, into that 3-drop. We have to kill the Guardian Project there. As much as I want to get myself a land drop, I have to deny them the uh, card advantage. Um, and you know what? We will attack with both of them at this point because I have uh, seven damage on the field. They only have four, so. This thing is kind of cute because um, it can have things enter the battlefield with another plus one, plus one counter, including our commander. As long as snow mana was meant to cast it. Yep. So um, we do have six land. So I think dropping commander is good there. Drop commander, probably get land off of this, I think. The guy's... The guy, it, he, he isn't looking too good right here because it's taken him a long time to play this. If it was a good spell, he would have already played it, like, happily, enthusiastically. Like, unless this is the best thing ever, and he's just, like, spending a long time figuring out the X value or something. All right, you know what? I screwed up. It's Creator Hope Behemoth. It doesn't look like he wins, though. Um, does anything have tramp? It all has trample, right? Yeah, I'm surprised it took him that long to drop Creator Hope Behemoth. Like, okay. All right, so we're down to nine. Definitely annoying, but we live, first of all. Um, we could even drop freaking Vivian and just deal damage to that to kill it. They're not going to bring it back from their graveyard for a little while. So we take five power off of their side of the field. And then we can start... I, I guess, yeah, we will use this. Minus one, minus one, or plus one, plus one counter on this. 
So now it has a mana ability, which we can't uh, take advantage of right now, but we will be able to in the future. We might as well have it, and now it has a counter, so if we start proliferating, that'll be nice too. They got that, but it's an enchantment, so we basically don't have to worry. Alright, nice. They get a food or a treasure. Was that a food? Eh, yeah. Wow, their last card. That's it. I don't even have to worry if it's like a Tamiyo safekeeping. That's it, dude. Well, you might as well eat your food. You, you wanna you, you wanna eat your food? It's good for you, man. What are you doing? This guy's just mad. Now he's mad he's all out of cards. Um, do we do that? Eh, nah. Alright, not bad. Um, so we start with that. This. Um, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Now we can actually attack in. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, this isn't gonna go too well because it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. <laughs> That's it. So I started with standard, like most new players. Okay, but I've I've started spending. Okay, I've started spending wild cards for historic brawl. Yeah, cool man. Rivas of the Claw, nice man. Dragons and reanimating them. Cool dude. Cool. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some great dragons from that. An old card called Bladewing the Risen. I think when it enters the battlefield, like it brings a dragon from your grave back to either hand or the battlefield. Red and black card from like Scourge, like an uh, old ass set, like a 20 year old set um, that focused on dragons. Um, so boys and girls, we're up against Rusko and I just want to have your undivided attention, please. My plan is to start the game. I, I just take any cards because it doesn't matter. All you do is you wait until they do something because as soon as they drop their land, you know, you see, he's thinking right now, right? We want that. And then the moment he drops his land, then we concede because we wanted to tax the mental energy, right? We wanted him to look through his hand and say, okay, you know, I'm going to play my forest and then mine. So, you know, whatever his equivalent of that is. And then the moment he invests the time and the energy into the game, that's when we take the whole thing away from him. Don't wait for him to cast turn one thoughts he's on you because if you um, concede the game after he casts Thought Seeds. He gets to sit there and tell himself that, you know, he beat you. But if he doesn't do anything and then you concede, he has nothing to feel good about there except, haha, you conceded. But that's going to get old really fast. So me doing that just on my own, it doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm a drop in a bucket of piss that is, you know, Wizards of the Coast's game right now. But if we can present a united front, boys and girls. Bye. Oh, yeah. Salute. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I'm not going to on principle. I'm not going to deal with it on principle. I could win. I'd probably win like what? 40 to 45% of the time on it. Maybe less, maybe a little more. I don't know. But like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and encourage that. And you know, the times that I do lose, sit there and struggle against them until like their midnight clock resolves and they draw seven cards and like two turns later they draw another set of seven cards like no no that's beyond degenerate i've got a better idea um why don't we start with this this So as much as I would like to cast Vorinclex, I do believe that it would get slaughtered on sight. Although the thing is, I don't have much else to do because what I'm thinking is protecting it with heroic intervention. The problem is, what if I draw nothing else? Would you, do I just sit there and do nothing? Uh, you know what? He passed turn. Probably yes. Um, do I... Um, I might even use the Mind Stone. Um, yeah, I think I might just um, attack. Yeah. Especially since we did draw a forest there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because we'll just... They, they just... Yeah. They prevented one damage. That's mostly for the scry, it would seem. So, yeah. They're up. Go ahead. Exactly. You can win, but why... Yeah, because it's just... 
overall, it's just a frustrating experience. And you're, you're sitting there, or at least I shouldn't project my experience on you. I'd be sitting there frustrated that this scumbag is, like, you know, daring to even look at me and breathe my air, you know? Like, so I, I don't even like that. So, yeah. Um, I think we'll uh, pass that turn. Now, do we block this? Heroic intervention on our stuff and kill it with the double block? Because they're going to want a ninjutsu something, right? Acquisitions, freaking expert. They're just going to take big Vorinclex out of our hand. I have to assume. Um, I Honestly, I think we give them that one. I think we give them that one. Right, if they yeah, well they they'll only they'll nerf the card after um after they sell a lot of it and they sell all the counters. Because the thing is, as much as I'm I'm fine with alchemy, but the thing is, like, do you really think that they would have released alchemy and put all the effort into developing it and stuff, like if they didn't have a plan to be scumbags? Like it's just so that like, you know, they they can uh change the or change what these cards do after everyone buys them and then you don't even get a rare wild card like uh what do you call it a refund like you do when they ban things like meat hook massacre recently like so they just like you know kind of is a feels bad moment and it screws people over um i think we do do we do vorinclex or do we do nissa honestly i think it's vorinclex and hope it stays around to bring out nissa next Yep, he's going to enter with a plus one, plus one counter because of this guy, so that should be... Okay, it is one plus one, plus one counter there. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, that and that, and yeah, okay. So if we can bring down Nissa next turn, I think I would just minus her and get all the forests out of the library just to, like, um, thin out the library. <laughs> I don't know, should I plus it? And then, um, because it would put six plus one plus one counters on each land, where usually it puts three plus one plus one counters on each land. We don't have anything else in our hand. All right, well, now that's answered for me. I obviously bring it in plus it. Yep, they get uh they get their damage in. Nice. All right, fine. Honestly, we'll take it. Yep. That this no death touch, right? Okay. That we will prevail. Yep, that one. Fine. Um and we'll attack with uh this one. Do we attack with two? Um, you know what? Yeah, we're going to attack with two to bring them down further and get them more nervous faster. There you go. All right, go ahead. You can get your one damage in on Nissa. You're not getting the other damage in. All right. Yeah, might might as well. I wonder if we'll see a ninjutsu here. Yep, looks like it. Cool. Hopefully it isn't too awful for us. All right, moment of truth. All right, not terrible. Is this the one? I think it might draw them a card. Yep, draw or discard a card unless it entered the uh, battlefield this turn. Cool, so they just get to draw it. Yep, good stuff. Although that one doesn't have flying, so next turn it might be a little more difficult to get a ninjutsu out, if they even care. I just saw your preview card. Nice one. Which one? I'm, honestly, I'm not sure which one you're talking about. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh, the preview. Oh, sorry. In the in the text box there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Tyrannosaur. Yeah, the Tyranox Rex. Yeah, that's cool, man, right? Oh, you'll be seeing that. I, I mean, I know that it has infect, and I really don't like that, but, like, you know, I mean, it, it costs freaking seven. Um, what do you... Uh, life total becomes half their life total. Starting life total. Okay, cool. Um, oh, wow. Yes, let's go. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Fight rigging straight onto Vorinclex. No death touch here, right? Yes, you love to see it. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, what we could have done, you saw that we had the Evolution Sage there that has the proliferate ability that whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control, we proliferate. What if we had done that in combination with Nissa's ult next turn? Wouldn't that have been freaking wild? And then we just bring down all the forests. We proliferate for each one. That's two plus one plus one counters on each thing for each one. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool, honestly. And yeah, and it can't be yo, that it's actually so good. I love green things with haste too. So that'll like find its way into my uh oh another a fifth freaking copy of yet another alright, what is it? Cool. Yeah, suit cool. Okay. Um, well, yeah, whatever. At least I got it because it adds vault progress. I think it adds like one whole entire vault progress. Although it doesn't look like it did there. I could have sworn that excess rears add like one vault progress. Whatever. Um, nevertheless. Yeah, I, I love haste on green creatures. Trample. It's fat as hell. So I'll put in the Tarask. Um, the Tarask brawl. I'll have that in Vorinclex brawl or sorry, Gore Claw. like evil carnage tyrant um yeah let's um oh gosh this this isn't good man no bueno you know i got smaller cards too okay i guess do we get rid of the great henge it might be averbrook caretaker honestly dude said hello say hi so right now I'm leaning into the, uh, like, this for one, and then chuck this onto it. Can't be countered. Haste. Trample. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Ward four. Uh, the Rex is now king of... Yeah, oh, he's he's ugly, dude. He's a big, ugly bastard, and I like him. Yeah, I, I can't wait to be playing with that one. I'm just happy. I, I like that it's a Phyrexian, too. So, like, it's really nice that, like, they're giving dinosaurs a little bit of love in the set. Um, okay, not gonna lie, it's pretty nice that we got a two drop there. Um, and we can remove this, uh, Voracious Hydra from the, uh, graveyard, so that way when, uh, this doubles the number of counters, it gets another one. We don't really think that it's gonna live up against the black deck, but, you know, we bring it down, because I don't really have much else to do right now, so there it is, okay. And yes, I just adjusted my headset, because I got some feedback there. I, I, I hope I didn't breathe on you guys too hard there. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's what's that called? Uh, okay. Uh, Selvala or Champion of Lamholt? I kind of honestly like as much as I want to do Selvala, I think I kind of like the Champion of Lamholt. Uh, no attacks. Uh, where's my cursor? There it is. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, gotta think about this one. Or maybe I don't have to think too much. Maybe it's just straight up Selval on, that's it. Okay, let, let's take a look at, like, what's this? Um, oh, it's just Guardian Idol, okay. Um, anything interesting going on with the lands? Yes, you have that one, that's pretty cool. I like it, I like it a lot. Beautiful, sir. Nice, yeah, the lands look good. You got the cosmetic style in there going around. Yeah, good stuff. Whenever a creature an opponent controls... Oh, great. Removal triumph. Fun. Oh, great. Okay. That's interesting. 
still think we have to do Selvala. Although now we can attack with these two creatures because um, creatures with power less than this guy's power cannot block. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the YouTube. I probably won't be playing a lot of the standard unless I just get blessed with like all the rares that I need exactly, which, you know, do we think that's going to happen? Uh, but yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the YouTube content from the other uh, from the other creators, too. All right. Um, if a creature in opponent controls would die, Jesus Christ, they are setting up to just kill our stuff. Goodness, man. All right, so my plan is to cast Gala Greeters for two. That increases this thing's power to three, which means that Selvala deals more damage. Okay, well, they freaking kill it, so they're going to get, like, benefits. All right. Um, geez. Um, maybe Gala Greeters. Um, increase this by one. I think I can do that, right? Um, let's see. I can increase this by a... Uh, sorry, it's behind my text box, so I can't see which one says it's mine. Because now Selvala dorks for more mana, so that was effectively free. Um, I think I might have to do the Um, Maybe no attacks. All right, yeah, honestly, this was a little too clunky. At this point, they're they're setting up. They're killing our stuff. Like, this this really isn't looking good. We're, we're missing land drops left and right. At this point, like, if we even keep all three of these creatures, that would be amazing. We have five capacity for mana next turn. Yeah, let's just go. We don't need to sit here and do this. E wow, yeah, that was freaking clunky. Holy crap, that was painful. Yeah, we just sat there while uh, he did stuff. Good game. I mean, it wasn't really <laughs> too much of a competition, but yeah. Nemata. Primeval, 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 Warden. Okay. Um, all right, so this is a land scavenging ooze. I think we can take this, yeah. This this involves, like, things... Oh, God, another freaking removal tribal. God. All right, glorious. Um, this just tapped. Yep, you're up. Then scavenging ooze, then probably this. All right. Each other creature. Yep, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Okay, a penalty for uh, killing his stuff, too. This is another one of those whenever a creature dies, they or we lose, they gain. Cool. It's good stuff for them. Um, I would say that's this guy. And uh, no attacks. Because since that scavenging ooze can uh, power itself up or gain us life, it might be more valuable than just trading it for a 2-2. All right, this thing gets big when they... Uh, yeah, so... All right, yeah, they kill that. That's that's fine. It's better than the Oracle getting killed in that exact same position and never getting us a land off the top of the library, which is exactly what we're going for here. Oh, uh, we didn't get it. Sucks. All right. Well, happens. Um, nevertheless, we can... Uh, do we attack with it? Uh, honestly, no. 
Yeah, we'll just we'll just end the turn because you never know. Because this thing gets the plus one plus one counters when they sacrifice stuff. So, all right, that was most of their mana, which is good. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, use our mana now and uh, take this out from our graveyard. Get the counter. All right, not bad. I'll take it. Um, Jesus, okay. Um. Kind of sucks, but at least we know not to play Oracle of Moldiah here. Um, I guess that's this thing. Each creature we control with a plus one, plus one counter on it, so that includes this. Nice. Well, I mean, obviously it does. Sorry. Like um, that, we might as well play the Oracle of Moldiah now. My eh, I mean, I could hold open Gaia's Gift, honestly. Um, eh, let's do Oracle. Wow, he's sacrificing that. Okay, so he draws a bunch of cards. Yep, nice. Um, resolve all. Damn, good stuff. Alright, well, hopefully too much of it isn't removal. It'd be really nice if we could get Vorinclex onto the field, use our uh, Planeswalker to give it a plus one, plus one counter. It would get two. We would still hold open this. They only have one mana, so that's not bad. Um, do we take that? Um, I think we have to block that, yeah, because for right now, it is conferring mana abilities onto two of our creatures. So, even if Oracle of Moldiah brought down two lands, the next turn it would be the same as utility, essentially. Um, so that, okay, yeah, we wouldn't even have the two lands, so honestly, that's that's perfectly good at this point. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. We're, we're not attacking with these two, so that we can hold open their mana ability for this. Um, this. It's two plus one plus one counters. We're checking. They do not have death touch. We attack with only this. It's got Trample, so it's not worth chumping, really. Maybe they're going to cast some sort of spell here. We've got this ready to go. Yep, okay. Wow, dude, what is it? Minus one until end of turn, create a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, okay. Fine, yeah, fair enough. He makes his token. Maybe he'll do something with it. I mean, obviously it wasn't the greatest play. It took him a while. Although the last time I said that, the dude then dropped Crater Hoof Behemoth, but it wasn't a game-ending Crater Hoof Behemoth. So. Alright. Damn, Jesus Christ. Alright, resolve all. Yep. Wow, they gain a lot of cards there. I don't know if we can uh, win this in time. Guardian Project. Wow. They're going to have all of the cards in the world. Do, are there creature cards to remove from graveyards? Yes, he has one... Um, do we have any? No. Um, so we're just going to do this. Um, exile target card from a graveyard. Um, we're going to take your creature. Um, yep, there it is. I get two plus one plus one counters. Not bad. My turn. Thank you. Okay. This. Um, then this. Um, do we use this? Yes, I think so. On this again. We'll do this together. Yep, and uh, we will attack. That is 18 damage. Not lethal, unfortunately. They're going to wipe the board, but we do have uh, 
we do have this. Yeah, they're definitely wiping the board. But the thing is, Queer and Beast Callers plus one plus one counters are going to go on to Vorinclex. They're going to be doubled. So hopefully when they wipe the board, it takes all of their freaking mana. I mean, they do have like a lot. Okay, well, maybe they're not going to. Maybe they're going to put more stuff on the field and then wipe the board. Menace and Indestructible. All right, but not Death Touch, fortunately. Three more lands open. It's just enough to use that, I was going to say, but that cost two. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. All right. Yep. Well, we are going to drop that. All right. Well, we're going to attack with, uh, let's see, one, two... I think that's it, right? Um, should we attack with more? No. Yeah, not this one, because they just get the clean block, and then it obliges me to like do this on it if I want anything really to happen there. It's just not worth it at all. It doesn't even have trample, so like it would just get blocked. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Yep. Yep, and now they get all the cards in the world. Jeez. Wow. That's honestly a terrible top deck, too. Uh, yep, okay. We get a nice hit in, but it's not too much. Uh, yeah, past turn. Honestly, I want them to wipe the board. And then be able to do nothing afterwards. Loth. Wow, okay. Okay, yep. They've still got four cards. Is, is that enough to wipe the board in those colors? Wow! He had all the card advantage in the world. He must have drawn poop. Wow, I thought I'd lost that for sure. I was just hanging in there because I didn't know yet. Wow. Damn. I, I want to know what the heck his hand was. It must have sucked. Because he had all those ways to draw cards, too. Damn, Tati Ova, okay. Uh, yeah, that, the no creatures, that's got to be a, a free mulligan. Because right now, playing this deck, I'm feeling like I might have too many uh, non-creature spells. This is honestly keepable. Turn one, this as a land. Turn two, explore. Turn three, cultivate. Plays itself, we can do it. Goreclaw to bring Vorinclex down a little uh, faster. And then once Vorinclex is down, we can bring this down and put um, 9 plus 1 plus 1 counters on double on target land, double it to 18. And if we could attack with Goreclaw in that, this would get Trample, which is exactly what it needs. Be wow, okay. I think we're still going to go Cultivate. Do we? Depends if we draw a land, I guess. I don't know. Wow, we do draw a land. I, I think we might go Goreclaw here. Because next turn, if Goreclaw lives, it's a little greedy, okay? But if Goreclaw lives, we drop the forest, we get um, Vorinclex down, and we hold open the uh, Snakeskin Veil. Do I... Oh, I like... I don't know about everyone. I like Simic. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. I, I don't think I've run anything in Simic yet on the channel. I have like a Merfolk deck from way back in the day in um, like Ixalan standard. Um... 
But yeah, I, I do like Simic. I have some, like, old decks from, like, you know... I mean, I'm still a shitty deck builder. I was about to say when I was a shitty deck builder. Always have been, always will be. Um, <laughs> but I, I still have those. Um, it involved, like, Enter the Battlefield effect, like, Eternal Witness, and then um, a card that, like, called Stampeding Sarrow at the beginning of your end step, you return a creature you control to its owner's hand. Um, but speaking of, like, Arena, more to, like, the game's point, like, I, Hydro Crisis is such a great card, you know? They've got really cool commanders. One of my uh, viewers just put together a Kanan deck, I think. The guy who, like, whenever you tap a creature for mana, you add more mana. I, I think that's great. Oh, yep, sacrifice it, yep, and now they do more Tatiova stuff, yep. They're looking good, but we are going to play this, um, and it gets haste, and then it's going to get a uh, plus. So they're probably just going to resign. So we'll uh, we'll see how fast they are at resigning. I, I always like seeing how fast they play versus how fast they concede. Okay. Wow, we're actually going to get the win with this. Cool, man. Cool, let's go. That's only going to be a lot of trampling damage. Because this is going to be 18 trampling, um, 22, 28, and then plus one apiece. So that's going to be 31 trampling. Before we use a sneak skin veil. And we, and we won't. We won't be dickish like that, but yeah. That's it. Yep, and and they sit there, look at it, and then instead of uh, pressing spacebar to just let the attack go through, there it is. Instead of pressing spacebar, they <laughs> okay. All right, idiot. <laughs> Good game to me. Good game to us. We deserve it. Oh God, we won with that. The huge silly land. I guess I guess they had to to take a a double take there, or you know wipe wipe the uh, the dirt off of their glasses. Oh man, what? Eight? Hey, what? Yeah, but that that's pretty cool. That was an eighteen eighteen land, and then Goreclaw gave it trample because yeah, unfortunately, tragically, that eighteen eighteen land only gets haste. But I guess for five mana, if you also gave it trample, that'd be pretty nuts. Uh, I think I might have to mulligan this one. By the way, only one so far. Only one so far. Not going to lie, I'm happy with that. Um, we go first. We have a one drop and we have explore for a two drop. Um, and hope it, it'll at least get us one card closer to the land. Obviously, we want to draw the land. I don't know why they use that ugly ass symbol instead of like this was from like a roughly the year two thousand or so set like Odyssey or Invasion or something. I would love to see that. I love seeing those like vintage um set symbols on these cards. I have no idea why they would use that instead of its original issue. Yeah, you see a Rusco deck every day. I haven't faced two in a row yet. Honestly, that might be a better question. <laughs> How many in a row is your uh, is your record today? Right? <laughs> oh god, uh, earlier today uh I faced two in a row. Is the answer. Conceded to them both. Each time I waited for them to drop their land first and then I conceded. God, let me sorry read Gotta, like, lean over, pat myself on the back for that. Oh, God, what a hero. What a hero. I think there's less and less Ruscos every day. Maybe? I hope so. I wonder if people are learning how to play against them. Although, I would think that people are learning more and more how to play Rusco himself. I'm surprised. I hope that's right. We're uh, waiting for the rope to happen there. 
that's a a lot of fun because I think it's going to start the game. So we'll just uh, we'll just get ready to press spacebar, do our play really fast, and start him roping again. And it's going to freaking be difficult with my clicks. There you go. All right, so maybe the uh, the freaking client crashed. Um, you know, it, it's only a billion dollar company with a record profit, so you you can't expect um, you know, you can't expect their main cash cow's client to function. Uh, cause the store works fine. Well, isn't girls? This is modern gaming era. Modern gaming is a store with a game attached. There we go. All right, let's let's start the roping down. Let's go. Uh, okay. Um, well, I mean, just in the interest of thinking, um. This is actually a good two drop, but obviously this is a little better because draw land or no land, this is, yeah. Yep. Still the better play. Okay, well. Great, that was, all right. Yeah, on to the next one. Not gonna lie, that, uh, that deck usually kicks my butt all over the place, so, uh, Easy coins, easy life. There you go. Happy for the W there. I only got the W because it was uh, given to me. Still think the client crashed. Crashed. I don't know. You never know. It's possible that the guy saw that he was up against Disaster Mine, Big Fat MTG, and he like went running out of his room to go like grab grab a, a camera, grab his phone, you know, to like screenshot the screen or something because he's dumb. He doesn't realize that he can just press print screen. He just like fell over and injured himself or something. You know, I, I wouldn't blame him. You know, I mean, if I was facing Big Fat MTG, I would want everyone to know. Um, so I would say Lair of the Hydra, Hardened Scales, right? Or, eh, no. Honestly, that's this first. And then turn two, we go Arcane Signet, Hardened Scales. Yeah, I think that's best. Thalia. Oh, well. There go my plans. Um... Did that work? Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Okay, bravo. Freaking great. Thank you. Thank you for being difficult with my click so that I put it down. And for some reason, it always shuffles it over to the side. And then me kind of not looking to do that. But let's be real. I was clicking the right thing in the first place. So I'm like, damn it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Because now it enters tapped. So now I can't do it. Well, I mean, I have this forest, fortunately. <sighs> nice and annoying. Wow, non-creature spells cost even more to cast. All right, well, now I have to go this. There you go. All right. As a matter of fact, I was thinking so hard. I really bungled it, because at that point, I should have played this. That was, that, okay, at this point, this is really bungled. That's, uh, that's my mistake, yeah. Does the Toxic Dino go in everything? Or do we make... I think it could go in a Poison deck, although the Poison decks seem a little fast. Um... I could definitely see it sideboarded in, um, in the green stompy list. All right, um, I guess we'll just do this. Yeah, we'll just attack. There you go. Okay, we get Vanishing Versed. So nothing would have happened with those counters anyway, because it only moves its counters onto something when it dies. Okay, um, honestly, I'm kind of feeling Lair of the Hydra into Cultivate. Wow, that costs two, but he had to pay a lot because non-creature spells affects everyone there with the cost increase. Uh, yeah, we're going to do, um, Cultivate, and then Lair of the Hydra. Yes, thank you. Um, so choose one, that one, and then we're going to put down Hydra, tapped. There you go, not bad. 
What an incredibly clunky start. Wow. Um, do I drop this thing with the kicker? I think so. I just don't see Vorinclex lasting long enough. Like, it costs four, and then this co or six, sorry, and then this costs four on top of it. Like, I don't have ten mana. Anywhere near there. Jeez. I mean, non-creature spells do cost him also. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. I don't think this is a triggered ability, though. Yeah, I don't... A kicker is a an additional cost. So I don't think that... Yeah, okay. Um, Alright. Hang on. I gotta think, and that's hard for me, okay? What do I... Do I do Nissa? And then create the creature, and then... Uh, do I try Vorin? I'm honestly just going to try freaking Vorinclex first. Um, and I think we're going to uh, attack. Re okay, so it's greedy, but I want Vorinclex to live because I want to bring in Nissa next turn. Okay, loses all abilities. Okay, that sucks. So we'll have to keep it untapped for next turn to be a blocker. In the meantime, I think it might be Nissa here. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we can't do this with... Uh, we can do that with the counter. Do we do it? Uh, honestly, yeah. I, I, I should have attacked first, honestly. Yeah, we're bungling this one all the way up. Whatever. As long as I don't attack with Vorn. Jesus Christ, I'm actually crapping all over this game. Wow. All right. We're going to try to do better, all right? Um, how do the white weenie decks always have... <laughs> It really seems like it. it and, and the Thalia is really killing me, too. With They don't know it, but popping up the uh, cost of that heroic intervention to uh, from 2 to 4, it's already hard enough as it is to keep open 2 mana after your plays when you're trying to like be on close to like on-curve casting as possible, you know? like And then instead of holding up 1 mana for Tamiyo's safekeeping, then we hold up 2, but that cost is doubled to 4. Freaking forget it, dude. Um... So yeah, they're only attacking with that so that I can't uh, block with Vorin Clex. That's fine. We have uh, this with Trample. About to start swinging in on them. They're more than welcome to do that and be freaking annoying. You know what? Go for it. Um, let's see. We can drop... I say we start with Oracle of Muldai. Alright, because we can use this to seek a card. That is pretty cool. Um, Alright. We're going to... Might as well drop this, right? Um, use this. Seek a card. Hopefully it's something nice. Um, Jade Light Ranger, honestly, not the best, but we'll still freaking take it. Um, that. Uh, so let me just make sure to tap the lands that we don't freaking need yet. Um, yeah, that. That. And we will... Oh, okay, yeah. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger, right? Okay, so that and that. There you go. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. Oh my god, okay, forget. This is just a total, absolute freaking mess at this point. Well, at this point, just I, I'm I'm making peace with the fact that I'm never going to play this and even close to correctly. Um, okay, yeah. Just in case, we want Thalia to die first. Might make it easier for them to cast a kill spell of some sort. You still have a Colossal Dreadmaw. I think that's a dinosaur.
Never used it, though. Yeah, Day of Judgment, destroy all creatures. The only good news there is that our commander now uh, gets to be, uh, yeah, come back. So we will, uh, I guess we'll start by doing this, and then uh, and then our commander. Is that what we do? I kind of like, kind of like it. We miss out on some, uh, some pluses for it. Or, nah, we don't. Um, we're gonna destroy target artifact or enchantment. I guess probably that one. I could get another land. Um, but now we're gonna use this. Get two counters on it instead of one. This is a six. Yeah. There you go. Wow, that... Honestly, poor guy. Because <laughs> I just screwed that one up like every time I freaking could. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to move on with our lives. We're going to get as far away from that one as possible. Run. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wow. Just super happy with the victory there. That was bad. Wow. All right. All right, your name is too long. I'm not going to read that. Um, let's see. Um, huh. You see, we only have two lands, but we have this and a whole bunch of things that cost three. Now, they go first, which is annoying, but I think we can keep this. Did they get their... Oh, not a Trium. Okay, I was like, what was that? Alright, a land would be phenomenal. Please. Oh, wow, we got a land. It's a beautiful thing. That, yep. Green. Yes, please. I believe that's Oracle of Muldia first. Okay, they tapped out. They lost the treasure for Beast Whisper. Fine. Fair enough. We got that beautiful forest. We love to see it. It would be even better to get a forest off of the... Oh my god, we got a forest off of the top. We have another one there for next turn. That's six capacity for mana. We could do... Depending on the top card, we could bring Jade Light Ranger in and then fight against Magda. Yeah, I'm liking the fight against Magda. Yes, is it that or Beast Whisper? Because Beast Whisper does draw them cards. Um, might have to be Magda, honestly. Especially seeing that dragon in their hand there. Do we do we do that? Um, let's do this. See what we get here. Wow, okay, two forests. All righty then. Um, I think I have to kill Magda, honestly. Uh, we're going to fight. I, I just, I think I have to do it. Because they're going to bring in that dragon that's going to add a lot of treasures. And then they could just constantly sacrifice five treasures, and that's awful. Wow, that's brutal. Um, that's really bad. Um... I mean, they have four mana right now. When they they could maybe bring a mana in, we hope not. Um, they didn't. Beautiful. So they make mana capacity five right here. That's not enough to cast their commander. Um, we are blocking that. Um, do we block that? Um, yeah, I think so. All right, they had to do that on it. That's a, a four damage spell, which could have killed um this guy here. So not terrible. Um, we drop that. Um, is that Vorinclex? It could be Vorinclex, because then next turn we do this and we get more value out of it. I kind of like it. It looks like they probably want to cast their commander next turn. Um, do we attack with both? Yes. We can drop Guardian Project and then this for the extra card. I think that's good. All right, this might be it. Um, we need like a fight spell draw or something. It has to be something like incredible um, because that dragon is going to be wildly good. Um, we might even have to do like straight up Vorinclex. 
um, just so that they tap, but then they tap their mana, and then they just make treasure tokens. That's really bad. That's really bad for us. Um, yeah, I think it has to be that. Um, this, or this. Uh, probably this. This really sucks, honestly. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Um, no. Next, attack. Alright, the only thing that'll help us is if we have, um... Get something that puts, like, a lot of plus one, plus one counters on foreign clacks. Because they're gonna cast in double, yeah, that. And the only thing that's going for us right now is that it doesn't have haste. Alright, so they'll probably attack for a little bit of damage. They didn't even attack with their commander. Alright. Honestly, the Great Henge is a start here. Um, we'll start with this. Um, we might need to make this huge. Um, but then they just swing in for victory next turn. And it doesn't have reach. Um, so this is really bad. Um, let's do this for like just X equals 1. Honestly, just for the card draw. Because we need to like... We need to draw, like, some sort of kill spell here. Um, that's really not it. Um, I guess it's just that, and that's it. Yep, good game. That's it. Yep, good game. I mean, he honestly just lost, like, six power on the field, and he, he's not... I mean, he must have drawn something really nice to put onto the field, because there was no reason for him to block with the copy of this thing. Because right now, he only has 14 damage on the field, so he needs to play, like, a dragon with haste or something. Okay, well, that's big, but, I mean, it's only 10-10, but it's two of them. Okay, so... Hmm. We're going to need to get something incredible here. Okay, 14 treasure tokens. That's a lot, so he can play anything in his hand. Okay, it's more freaking dragons. Great. Yep, more cards. Damn. Yep, good game. Damn. Four damage to each opponent. There you go, good game. Yep, very nice. Wow. Wow. Wow, damn. Just one turn too clunky there. Oh, man. Yeah, had to try it, though. Because if I didn't attack with that Vorinclex, they would have, um... I think they had, like, 18 damage in the air. They had lethal by, like, 3 or something. So they were, they were good to win. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, gosh. Good game. Game is hard, Jesus. Oh, wow. I'm getting my R swept. Oh, I get a lot of tokens on Vorinclex, please. I just want to get like big freaking big numbers. I'm not really liking, um, like the Hydra's um, enchantment, the thing that at the beginning of your upkeep it doubles the number of counters. It's just, I don't know. Um, I like this hand. Um, but I have more rare creatures to uh, put into this deck as I uh, acquire more rare wild cards. But I, I think that this is in a playable state right now. That's why we're here. Um, we're dropping that. I don't think we're doing Voracious Hydra. I think we just swing Gorklaw next turn. Okay, not bad. Well, uh, I think it's just Gorklaw. Pass. 
And um, if they kill Goreclaw, we just go Vivian Reed. Hostage freaking taker, nice and annoying. Take my Goreclaw. Sucks. Um, I think I just do Voracious Hydrax equals 3, so that way they can't start like blinking this in and out of the battlefield, because I know that that happens. 1, 2, 3. Um, yes, 3. There it is. Thank you. Fight target creature. Damn, this thing is doing something nice every time I see it. I swear. We get Vorinclex back. Or Vorinclex. Goreclaw back to help cast Vorinclex. How much does this cost? I'm deciding. Do I want to, like, bring Vivian Reed in and minus her? Well, now it won't matter in terms of casting their commander. Um, but I still think I want Vivian Reed down, to be honest. Oh, don't counter her. Yes! Let's go! The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Wow, she just gets straight con or destroyed. Alright, well, let's grab ourselves a land. And then we still get Vivian Reed's ability, so that's nice. I've seen things that would break someone. Okay, like and we even get that, which can add extra plus one plus one counters onto our creatures that already have plus one plus one counters. Nice. I like. How do we do that? Yeah, they. Okay. Okay. Let's go on to the next one, man. We're running Vorinclex Brawl. Hope you guys are enjoying your time here. If you are, make sure to leave a like on the stream. Big Fat MTG's uh, morale could use it. Getting beaten over the head in the games that are uh, actually a contest. And then the ones that I win, they're kind of going fast. Not really getting, getting to enjoy it. But I'm getting to spend it. Big Fat Bastards and Big Fat Bastardettes. So leave that like on that stream. It helps get this stuff out to more people. Helps the channel grow. Thank you all for that. I always say it. I can shout into the abyss, uh, into the abyss until I'm blue in the face. I can do it. But without you guys, nobody gets to hear it. If a tree falls in the woods, it doesn't make a sound. All right. Yes, please. In the it, Oh, wait. I didn't even say the freaking thing right. All right. Yeah, beautiful. Great. Okay. If you're going to verbal diarrhea, you've got a verbal diarrhea right, man. Ugh, all right. Um, This thing, I think, first. And then next turn we drop Kodama and swing with that and get the um, get the land off of it. Ideally, we'll see what they have to say about that. Let's check the lands. We've got World Tree. Yep, good. Got that one. Okay, missing red. I mean, that's fine. Once they uh, get, is it six or is it seven lands? If as long as you control six or more lands, okay. Okay, well, cultivate. will uh, yep. There's the red. Very nice. Yep. Okay. Um, that, I'd say, um, Kodama, and maybe this, too. Uh, eh, you know what? Ye yes, we will do that, too. Just so that we get... Um, what? Alright, and now we swing, get a land... Very nice. Thins out the library. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Okay, a board wipe would really suck. Banishing light on Yorvo. Okay, not on the Kodama. Fair enough, yeah. We have this to come in and fight their commander. We already have X equals 4 with the 6, now 7 mana we have on the field. So, yeah, we drop this. No counters involved here, but we get a nice swing for 11 damage. Next turn, we hope that they drop their commander and just straight past turn, or maybe do like something very little. Because this comes in, fights commander. We've got some nice trampling damage. This is going to come in with like double the plus 1, plus 1 counters that we pay for. 
So we're going to tap out for it. That's a uh, x equals 5 right now. All right, they have three mana. What are they going to do, like an exile enchantment? Because they dropped this first. All right, borrowed time on commander. Great. Yep, a, uh, a land would be cool because it allows us to play that. Honestly, I will take the Cage Sun. Do I do the Cage Sun or do I drop this? Because I can't attack with it now. Um, honestly, I kind of like the Cage Sun. All right, so they're gonna drop their commander. I would assume. I wonder what else they're gonna they're gonna do. They only have six lands. Oh, okay, fine. Seven capacity for mana with that. So they do this. They have three more mana, possibly four if we see an untapped land. All right. Yep, and they get a card. What do we got? Will they destroy the cage sun? Even if they do, still bring this in for x equals 5. If they don't kill the cage sun, we actually have the capacity for um, 12, 13 mana. And that's if we don't play this, which I don't think we will because I don't want to overextend into a board wipe with it if I'm going to drop this. I think I would probably just play this for whatever and then this and win, you know. All right, I guess I would play this first and then this second right set enters with double the amount of plus one, plus one counters. All right, yeah, that's... Is that a creature? Ugh, that is a creature. Annoying. All right, well, more mana. Okay, we'll take it. So we start with this. All right, now this for X equals... Hang on. One, uh, so seven, X equals five. And then you just freaking left... Oh, he had no idea that it was going to do that? He could Look, did you see him panic there? You see him panic over those lands? Yeah, that was going to be brutal, though. We were just going to... Because he had, like, one life or something, right? <laughs> I actually forgot. I was looking at my stuff so long, I freaking forgot. I think he had, like, one life. Not a lot. I mean, I guess his plan was to just block everything. Because I think that, that one of those shrines had three toughness, the other had four. So I think he would have blocked Vorinclex with those. Chump blocked the other things. Still don't really get the point, but nevertheless. Up against Toski, the hand is interesting. It's not terrible. We have Branching Evolution. I'm do I freaking try it? Because we only have the Mind Stone to ramp, but we have Ranger class. We can put on level 2. We have Branching Evolution. We can start attacking with this and making it big. I'm just going to try it. I, it's a 2 lander. It has one piece of ramp. I know. A land would be an extremely... Thank you. Nice top deck. Because, okay, we can do Mind Stone the next turn. Um, so Mind Stone turn two, and then for turn three, we could um, put down four mana's worth of stuff. Yes, thank you. I think that would be Scavenging Goose and Ranger Class. Omen of the Hunt. Nice. Okay, cool. Yep, search for a basic land. Very nice. I 
they'll have to drop a land to get Toski onto the field. And since this has zero power, if they attack with it, they actually will not get the card draw from Toski because it does have to deal damage. That does not include zero damage. Unfortunately, I love swinging for zero. Ah, <sighs> but alas. All right, so land, beautiful thing. Um, Ranger class, scavenging goose. Yes, yes. And if everything goes right for us, next turn, drop this land, have five capacity for mana, we can do Ranger class so that whenever a creature we control attacks or whatever, put a plus one, plus one counter on a target attacking creature, sorry. And we can do this. And then we can put two plus one, plus one counters. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh, they gave it power. Nice. Okay, they have to attack with Toski. We'll just block it. It's no problem. Um, I'm actually going to block it with this instead, just in case if they power it up. I'd rather lose that one than Scavenger Goose. They do get a card. That is great for them. They pass turn. Okay. I'm going to do exactly what I said. I meant it. That's why I said it. That, not the Celestis, I think. Even though the Celestis could bring us our commander next turn. Um, we're going to attack with uh, that one. That one. Yeah. Okay, so. If we get a land... We just go straight for Orinclex. It doubles the amount of counters we put on stuff. This doubles the amount of counters that we put on stuff. That's gone now, though. Oh, wow. They kill Ranger class instead. Okay, well, that's the source of plus one, plus one counters. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. All right, well, they have to attack with Toski. They should attack with Gildy. Yeah, it's a pretty good play. Yeah. Block that. Yep, saves a card. Nice. We get the block. And it's clean. No shenanigans, no silly buggers. Very good. Now, do we do Great Henge first? Uh, cause, right, because that way Vorinclex enters with counters. I think we do Great Henge first. I mean, she'd be attacking with practically double the power next turn. Great Henge, and then we can uh, tap it and this land, bring in the Celestis. I like it. I hope you like it. Um, I don't think there's a reason to attack here. Um, so why don't we no attack? Because we have the 4-4 four, four to block this. We have the 2-2 two, two to block Toski. It would be extremely nice if both the Great Henge and the um, whatever this... Oh, Jesus. Damn it. Ugh. They're probably going to kill the Great Henge, I would assume. That really sucks that they actually have so much artifact and enchantment removal right now. That sucks. Alright, they get a good attack in there. Um, I think we just let that go through. That sucks. Are there any creatures in any graveyards? No. Christ almighty, dude. All the cards. Alright. Um, do we do the Ancient Dragon? I'm kind of liking the Ancient Dragon in the next turn, Vorinclex. Because Vorinclex isn't going to put counters on anything right now. This, is, this gets the block on their flyer. And then next turn could get extremely messy if they don't take care of that. Okay, that does have indestructible, right? Okay, so they have to block, or they have to, sorry, attack. With that Titan of Industry, you know what, at this point, freaking fine. 
Although that's actually annoying because it's going to probably give itself a shield counter so that it gets the good block on this hour 7 7 and lives. So now that I think about it, that actually sucks. Yeah, they're going to give it itself a shield counter. That, yeah, holy, f dude, that every freaking turn. Oh my god, what do I do? The only thing we can do is draw a, uh, a power up for uh, the 7 7 somehow. Maybe something gives it a plus one, plus one counter. We have some things. Let's go. We need this. We need this. We need this really bad. That is... That's okay. I mean... I'd have to bring down Vorinclex and then hold it and then next turn do this. And then when we have Indestructible, then that would be pretty good. So let's do that. Bring this down. Try to weather the freaking storm. We don't attack. We pass turn. Just try our best to please live... We need Vivian to come down, give her give her um, emblem. Then we're looking okay. Because it's also going to give um, vigilance to our stuff. So we're going to put tons of plus one, plus one counters on our things. I think it's... Is it trample? Vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Honestly, it's been so long since I got that emblem off. All right. So the trample is important because um, this they would have to invest a lot into this. Yep, they attack with the one that they have to attack with. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, that that doesn't that didn't happen to get death touch recently, right? Yeah, okay. Just make just making absolutely sure because this thing is going to put a lot of counters on our stuff. And it looks like we get the Vivian emblem off. That's our only hope right now. Okay, so that's wildly good. And since they have Vigilance, there's no point in not attacking with everything. They're going to double block the Ancient Bronze Dragon with t with the um, this and this. We're going to deal all the damage to Gilded Goose and the remainder to Titan of Industry because we just need to break the shield counter. That requires any, any amount of damage. Might as well get the kill on the Golden Goose. Wow. What a top deck for, with the Vivian Reed back a turn or two. Wow. Wow. That was a game that we 100 bazillion percent thought we were going to lose. We have Indestructible, Trample, Vigilance, and Plus Two. Poor guy. Yeah, thank you. That was nice of you to say that. Yeah, because... It, it feels bad for him, because he probably thought he was going to win, too. I mean, he got those great hits on our freaking uh, artifacts and enchantments, but, oh, wow. Queen. Queen. God. Vivian Reed, boys and girls. What a lady. Wow. I'm not going to lie, like... I'm so happy that with this Vorinclex deck, like, we're going to be getting some Planeswalker emblems off, like, more than, you know, like, once a month, <laughs> roughly, on average. Wow. Yes. Wow. Cause the fact that they also get Vigilance means that you can just freaking swing. Like, it doesn't matter. At that point, like, math truly is for blockers. Like, it's a fun thing to say, but most of the time you probably should try to do the math on the offensive so that you don't leave yourself, you know, like, you know, in a bad position. But at that point, like, no, just just, just mash that space bar, baby. That's all we need to do. Um, what do I do here? I think we can keep this one. We have two pieces of ramp. Query and Beast Caller is a good card. Um, do I do... Yes, Jesus! Um, yeah, we'll do Beast Caller.
All right. Um, do we do mind? Do we do? I think it's just the Celestison attack, honestly. Because next turn we can do like the Mind Stone into um, Renata. All right, they didn't put their commander on the field and instead they foretold something, but they did put that on the field. That's interesting. Do we hold Silverback Elder? Because I think that might be a counter there. Because if it was Doomscar, would they have done that? You know? Um, so let's do this. Yeah, it's a counter. That's a decent thing for them to counter because it does put plus one, plus one counters on thing. They know that we have Vorinclex. Um, we will get the swing in. No sense not attacking. Alright, let's see what it was. Was it Doomscar? I don't know why they would have put down the Ornithopter if it was Doomscar. Okay, well now it's most likely... It, it could still be Doomscar. You, you never know, you know? I mean, they could just be foretelling it for later. Um, nevertheless, um, I think we're going to do Inscription of Abundance. Um, do we kick it? You know what? Yeah, we do kick it. All of them. One, two. Jesus. Okay, thank you for actually registering my click. So, two plus one plus one counters on that one. So, that way, if it dies, we can move the counters onto other things. Boom. There you go. Is it a counter? Let's see. If it's a counter, they'll play it. Okay. Nevertheless, um, we might as well attack with both of them, right? Yeah. They can block, they can cleanly block one, that's fine, we get three damage in. Okay, we tried to get the fight spell, at least we got, we got rid of one encounter. Fair enough. Okay, Phyrexian Metamorph. That is an artifact. Significance gets blown up by Silverback Elder. I think we play Vorinclex just to get them... Oh, you know what? The, here's the... Uh, here's the thing that's going to get their counter. Let's see. We're going to do this again. Um, if we control three or more snow appearance, the creature gets plus one. Okay, perfect. So we do this. Counter? Counter? Okay. Do we drop this? Uh, yes. Because it gives mana abilities to stuff. And next turn it might be nice to go Silverback Elder into this. It's a doggy villain world out there. Be your best self. I put it on this, not on Query and Beast Caller. Yes, even though Query and Beast Caller, when it dies, it moves its counters to other stuff. But yeah, this makes it so that our creatures with plus one, plus one counters get, a, get the mana ability. So, yeah. Nice to do that, because now we have our mana capacity increased by two with those two creatures. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, um, not terrible. Do we do Vor- I think we do Vorinclex, because I would rather them counter that, and it just gets, you know, more commander tax than this, which can just obliterate, like, everything they want to do. So, you go ahead. You're very smart. Wow, you saw it coming. You're very smart. Actually, big fat MTG, uh, no. You will not be casting. Okay, cool, dude. Um, let's attack with, uh... Do we attack with both? Yeah, we attack with both. It's lethal. They have to block. Do I even put this on the field? No, pass turn. Honestly, I should have minus that, but I think they have to keep that untapped, right? It's a block. Okay, they draw a lot of cards. They have two mana. Now three, that's good. One card in hand. That gives them access to the top card of their library. It might be the concession. Yep, bye, idiot. Oh, there you go. Yep. Not bad. We lucked out with that... Uh, 
Blizzard Brawl fight, though. The fact that that went through, they had to spend the next turn recasting their commander for five. Damn. Wow, nice. Good game, good game to us. I mean, usually that deck kicks my butt all over the place. They just didn't get their uh, their real stuff going. They had to use their Phyrexian Metamorph that enters as a copy of anything. As a copy of Cold Steel Heart. So I don't know if that was a game that went swimmingly for them. Um, wow. This, honestly, I do I do Query and Beast Caller first and then the Lanoir Elves? I mean, this is so weird that I might want to, like, mulligan it, even though it's good. Eh, we could just use the Mind Stone to draw a card, honestly. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to go greedy with the Query and Beast Caller. Forgive me, okay? Lotus Cobra, very nice, okay. Little greedy, kind of paid off there. Next turn we can drop, would we drop the commander? Would we drop the would we drop evolution sage and then a forest? Kind of like the commander. They hit banishing light. Okay, yep, they take that away. Okay, we'll see. Maybe it gets. It did not eat the swords to plowshares. If they didn't do it there, I assume it is not in their hand. Now they could still do plenty of other exiles. They've shown they have one. When there's one, there's more. Smoke and fire. That thing is good. I forget exactly what it does. All right. Um. So we need to start with probably this guy. He's gonna enter with a lot of plus one plus one counters. Um, now we do this, because we need a land. Uh, we didn't get it. Um, we are going to attack. Okay, it comes back to the battlefield with flying, so... That's fine. They might as well do that. They saved one damage, but whatever. Oh, wait, what? It didn't enter with flying? What the hell? Oh, right, because Vorinclex halves the flying counter, or any counters that they put on. Which means that their freaking creatures get just get to keep coming back. Holy crap, that's pretty cool for them. Okay, well, hopefully they don't get land number seven here. Jesus, this actually sucks. They're going to get big creatures. This is bad. This is really bad. We're going to have to get huge creatures to trample through. Because they just get to keep on blocking with no repercussions. Um, this is bad. This is really bad. Do I do Evolution Sage, and then land, um, and then it doesn't matter if I attack with that. So we have to do Mind Stone. We gotta draw a card here. Um, can I not tap in and sacrifice it? Is there something that makes it so that I can't pay or sacrifice permanence? Okay, great. But it doesn't even matter. Um, so we just have to do this. Because they just get to keep freaking uh, attacking. That's actually pretty wild. Yeah, so there's no point in attacking. Because um, this thing, look at that. It brings their creatures back with flying counters on it. If they didn't have flying before. But Vorinclex halves the number of counters that they put on stuff. Round it down. Oh boy, that's... Uh... Essentially, that's carte blanche for them until I can get Trample on something huge or a lot of counters on Vorinclex, who already has Trample. So Garrick's Uprising would be really good, but we're top decking at this point, so like... Yeah, this really sucks. We can't sacrifice the Mind Stone to do anything. Um, scavenging Ooze is pretty cool. Um, 
Not going to lie. Does this... Hang on. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control? I think that we could use Scavenging Ooze in response to that and actually get the creatures out of their graveyard. So now we can attack. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Um, let's start with this. Do we do Vorinclex too? No, nah, because they, they just block it with these two, and then that's a good block. So let's not do that. Let's. They're going to try to chump block it and get that thing back, and then we're going to take it out of their graveyard. Right when the ability goes on the stack, the thing will be in their graveyard. Yep, so now we're going to do this. We're going to take it out of there. There you go. There you go. All right. That was actually an extremely fortunate top deck because now they can't just do the uh, never-ending creatures come back for free effortlessly. Perfect. Like, with no drawbacks. Wow. Pretty wild that they could do that. That's a good card. Wow. Okay, are there, like, creatures in graveyards that my uh, scavenging ooze can eat? A Shia. Holy crap. All right. That is huge. That's bigger than my creature. Jesus Christ. Well, I got the answer to whatever the hell is happening over there, but then they got the answer to my thing. Um, we do get to proliferate there, which is going to give me the biggest thing on the field. Um, I think I have to pass the turn, though, because they just trade with a shy, and then I lose the biggest thing on the field. For what? For each land you control. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, go ahead. You might as well just give trample, dude. All right, yeah, just, yeah. Holy God. <laughs> that was weird. That was cool, dude. So he get he gets this and brings back all his creatures for free because of my Vorinclex. I wind up getting this so that at least I can, in response to the triggered ability, take his stuff out of the graveyard at instant speed. I get this so that I have something huge on the field. He just comes down with freaking Ashaya. Okay. And plus plus for each land he controls on his Jesus Christ. All right, dude. I, I get it. It's a forced win. All right. All right. I get it. At that point, that's not even an algorithm forcing me to lose. That is a human being handpicking their perfect draws. Come on. Oh, God. That was actually pretty cool, though. Like, on a technical level of what was going on, that was actually quite an interesting game. Like, good good game to the dude. He, he's probably really happy with that one. Huh. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, can I do this one? We're up against elves. They're going to be fast. We go first. We have Mindstone turn two, but into not very strong this. The Inscription of Abundance is good, but then we don't have much else after that. I think, on, sadly, that has to be a mulligan. Very sadly. Very sad. Um, and in this case, I think we go Gala Greeters first. Um. Yes, yeah, so that we can start making the uh, treasure tokens. So next turn, that's probably query and beast caller. Make a treasure token, um, and then what? I don't know. We need a land. If we get a land, I'm going to play Guardian Project and use the Treasure Token to play it. And then we can get Evolution Sage in. Draw a card off Guardian Project. Hopefully get closer to land number four in that hypothetical situation. But I protect it as my home. Yep, untap target elf. Very good. We will endure all trespasses. Oh man, and they get a fight. Ugh, oh, god, that's not looking good. 
They'll probably get a. They might get a swing in. They might as well, because if they're planeswalker plus ones, and I can only hit it for like one or two. Oh god, dude, come on, man. Um. God, do I have to do this and then just make another treasure token and accomplish just about nothing? I think. Yeah, at this point, we're starting to get really clunky up against elves. So, not looking good here. Even if we get the land, and I mean, that's the... If we get the land, I can go Guardian Project. If I don't get the land at that point, like, I don't know what to do. That doesn't even... These don't have trample, so... Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's fine. I, I like the Gaelic... Oh, Jesus. And now they draw cards when they cast elf spells, and this just seeks elves into their hand. Jesus Christ. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Are you happy with your force? Jesus Christ. Wow, that was miserable. All right, on to the next one though. Wow, oh. gotta give you gotta give your four stells. I think the other day I was having a a pretty good day. I don't remember what I was playing, but it was pretty good for a while. It's okay. We're giving back, boys and girls. Big fat MTG giving back to the community there. Whew, brutal, though. I gotta check OBS, see how long I've been streaming at this point. Holy shit! Okay, boys and girls. We're up on the three-hour mark. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, speaking of which, boys and girls, if, you'd enjoy, if you have enjoyed any part of this today, be it the games, be it Vorinclex, be it the sound of my voice, well, don't be shy about it. Let me know. I like to know that. Hit the like button on this video. Not only does it get my video out to more people, puts a big smile on my face. And see big numbers. I'm just a big stupid guy. That shit makes me happy. Really appreciate that. Um, as I sit here, it's going to be Gila Greeters, right? I don't see anything else to do. Gila Greeters and then have it die, and that sucks. But, you know, like, what the hell are we going to do? And they'll probably see hardened scales plus Gala Greeters equals want to kill the Gala Greeters. Oh, and if Lightning Bolt was, yeah. Okay, um, that's most likely Jugan defends the temple. Yeah, since we don't get a uh, payoff of out of Augur of Autumn, since we already put a land down, yeah, we'll just go ahead with this one. And if that dork lives. Um, we can do Mindstone into, um, Augur of Autumn. Well, does it live? Possibly, it looks like it will. We're gonna lose a little bit of life here. Kind of annoying. You don't stand with me. You're my enemy. Yep, and do they make another? No, we'll just decline that, lose some life. Yep, great. Yep, plus one, plus one counter on this, so it gets two plus one, plus one counters, because one plus one is two. Would you believe it, boys and girls? Learning all sorts of things on Big Fat MTG. There you go, we do that. Let's get a land off the top. Oh, we didn't get the land off the top. That stinks. Um, do I drop Beseju? I think I do drop Beseju. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six lands. Um, My goons will make quick work of defy me, and you'll lose everything. Do we drop this first? I think we do drop this first. Okay, that's good too. Um, 
Because I would like to be able to put mana into this with Vorinclex that enters with like a whole lot of counters. Um, so maybe we do this for exit one, two, three, four, five, six. So X equals four. Um, and then we fight this, I think. Um, okay, one, two, three, four. Um, yes, please. Yep. It'll enter with five. Yes, we can't afford to pay more. We're going to fight this, I think. Dies or is put in Conjure card name Recycler. Yeah, it's just that. Takes off the most off of their side. Uh, yep, we're going to pay zero. Yep, confirm zero. Yes. There you go. We did it. Um, do we attack? Uh, because we could take both of those things off the field if we attacked. You know, I think we will. I think we're going to attack. Yes. Yeah, I thought they would double block. Honestly, that's fine. Okay, yep, very well. So we get them both off of the field, so they might have to uh, minus two um, if they want to get more devils. They can't do that, so um, let's see how it goes. Okay. Discard a card. Uh, no. Not in, when it dies, return it to owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. All right, fine. Um, um and let's see, we'll attack... Um, this one and this one, or sorry, this one and this one at um, this, and the 2-2 two -two at this, right? Yes. Um, they're just going to kill this, though, but honestly, that's fine. This, wait, can this not block? This isn't Does this have menace or something? I have something that made that... Because that was very fast. They, can you humanly press spacebar that fast? You sure? It just can't block. Okay, how the hell did they get two of those on the field? Oh, because it is it is Jixi. I thought it was cast and bringing another thing. Okay, so it just brought in another thing named it onto the field. And then, okay, that's honestly pretty cool. Okay, we're going to do one more, and then we're going to end it. Okay, let's go. Damn, so that brings in a whole endless cycle of those things. You know, I really wish that, like, some of those alchemy cards would, like, when they hit the graveyard, cease to exist. Especially, like, the Power 9 off of the Oracle of the Alpha. Because, like, they combine it in blue with, like, Leer, right? So that, like, all the cards in their graveyard have flashback. So many ways of casting things, like, from their graveyard or just bringing them back to their hand. I, and, and, like, you know, like, the two mana take another turn spell, and they just keep casting it from the graveyard. Like, I really wish, like, sure, go ahead, put it into your library, draw it or whatever. But then when it's, like, gone, just, like, have it exiled from the freaking game or something. Um, okay. Um, eh, I don't think that we can do this. Wow. Oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> Okay, we are up against another Vorinclex. Very cool. We are going to uh, this, that. Okay, so next turn, we drop this one tapped. We play Ranger class. Good stuff. Oh, he said hello. Hi, yep. We're playing the same thing. Very cool, sir. You get another land that turn. Awesome, great. Um, So we do this. Tapped. That past turn. 
Not terrible. Next turn. Okay. Uh, probably foreign collectors are foreign collectors. <laughs> core collectors. Not too much else going on there. Now we actually have an option. Um, but I still like Vorin Clex. Or, Jesus, it's not Vorin Clex. I know, okay? I played the one that I meant, even though I said the wrong thing. God, I, I do that a lot. Whatever. Okay, this is cool. Whenever it becomes blocked, untap up to three lands. Good stuff. Wow, they, they're just going to do nothing and then go straight into their commander. Jesus. Um, okay, well, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Um, honestly, since we can't do the commander and ranger class, I am going to do this. And then we're blowing this up. Yeah. They might be fighting it against Goreclaw. Okay, that's pretty good, but we already got the payoff out of it right there. Boom. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. There you go. Takes power off the field. Takes the capacity to maybe have it blocked. Looks like we might elicit a Tamiyo safekeeping or maybe snakeskin veil here. I would imagine that's what they were debating. Right? Makes sense. One mana up. I mean, it's either Tamiyo's or snakeskin. Maybe there's another one that I'm forgetting that does something similar for the one mana too. But they, they can't even attack. Yeah, because this guy's got that beautiful seven. Uh, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have to do this. Yep, we're going to look at top five cards. Start thinning out the light. Oh, wait, we see Defiler there. That's uh, that's pretty freaking wild. Uh, nevertheless, we can't really attack at that point. Um, so actually, you know what? Yes, we can. We're going to bully him because we have this so that if we recast our commander, we just get the uh, the land off of it and help with commander tax. Yep. So we hope and pray that he doesn't get too many plus one plus one counters. He does next turn. Put three plus one plus one counters on target creature control. That's very good. But one card in hand. That doesn't even get plus, so he can't even attack. Wow. Okay. Now, are there creature cards in library or in graveyard? Sorry. Um, yes, there are. This. Uh, hours. Sorry. Slow and clunky there. There you go. We do that. Thank you. Uh, this. We are going to destroy target artifact or enchantment. This. So that way they don't get their three doubled to six plus one plus one counters next turn. They are very much considering. Thank you. Yep. Tamiyo safekeeping. Yep. All right, well, we are attacking, and it's going to be with that. And, like, they're going to get the three plus one plus one counters. It's not going to get doubled because it gets doubled and then halved. Um, oh, wow, they didn't even keep the card in hand for me to wonder. We still have this, which is huge. So they're most likely not attacking. All right, um, so um, we start by um, doing this. Uh, once again, destroy target artifact or enchantment, I think. Yes. Um, is it on this? Yeah, you're not drawing two cards. No. All right, we put it on this and uh, on that. No, on this. Um, and do we attack? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, um, actually, let's just do this first. Just to see what's going on there. Uh, okay. Um, and we will attack with only that. It is le- it- oh, it's not lethal, sorry. <laughs> now it's lethal. They have two chumps. They're fine. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's pass the turn. Okay, another land, so they can't attack yet again. Uh, we might as well, um, start taking stuff out of their, uh, graveyard, honestly. 
Uh, yeah, Wildwood Scourge, boom, mine. Yeah, we're we're if he's gonna keep milling, then then we're gonna turn this thing into a formidable blocker. Um, creatures, um, creatures, beautiful. Okay, I see more creatures over there. Beautiful. Okay, my turn. Okay, Snakeskin Veil, cool. Um, still can't do that off the top, but soon we will be able to, and that's going to be extremely good. Extremely good. Especially with, like, this. It's going to double the number of counters on it. That's going to be really good. Um, yep, we will attack so that they can't build up a significant number of um, chump blockers there. Just with that, that's all. I mean, arguably, I could... Bl Maybe I should have attacked with Vorinplex, too, because it gets the counter. All right, they gave it Hexproof. That is pretty good. Um, they don't get to do that again, though, unless they bring that land back from the uh, graveyard. Um, we're going to pass turn there. We're looking pretty good next turn, because we have Snakeskin Veiled followed by this, which is going to double the number of uh, plus one, plus one counters on the creatures that we put uh, those counters on. Which isn't bad at all. This is going to get pretty big, because this is going to have a whole bunch of counters. I see some uh, creatures in there to, uh, to eat up. And we will sit here and eat up their stuff. Yeah. Give me your creatures. Give me all of your creatures. I want every single one of them. I'm going to try to be quick. Yes. To the slider. Elvish Mystic. This is important, because when we double the plus one, plus one counters, it's going to get pretty big. we got to get as big as possible. Um, is there anything else? Eh, not really. Whatever. Okay, so I'll just do that. We're, we're not going to sit there and do the rest of them. All I want is the counters. Um, okay. So, this. On a one, two, and three, I guess, right? Yep, and then we'll double the number of counters on them. Okay, now we have some big stuff. Now we can start attacking. Um, probably with this, that, uh, and not this, I would assume. Yeah, we're good. On to you. Make you more difficult to deal with. Hopefully they try to block Vorinclex, like, exactly. All right, um, yeah, that's fine. Take a lot of damage, though, so they're banking on drawing something really good to win next turn. Yep, good game. Yeah, that's a good game. All right, thank you all for joining me. Happy to at least end it on a W after uh, getting my butt whooped for the last little while. If you haven't already liked the video, that would be really nice because it gets it out to more people. I'm happy to bring you guys Vor and Clex Historic Brawl. I've been waiting on it for a little while. I like green creatures with haste. I like getting Planeswalker emblems off. Somewhere in this video, we got Vivian's emblem off, and I had a great time with that. So thank you so much for joining me today. I think I'll play the same thing tomorrow. So uh, look forward to uh, that. And uh, big fat bastards, big fat bastardettes, kings and queens, beautiful people. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow again on the worst Magic the Gathering stream on the internet. Bye-bye now, everybody. Like my stream, please. Thank you.